up, there'd be sound, there'd be a stream, there'd be a webcam, there'd be a haircut that needs doing. We are live. We've got quite a lot of chat already. Absolutely. Who is joining us for this monumentous occasion of losing every single game we play tonight? <laughs> Let's start on a positive turn. <laughs> when Hot 19 just ordered some Stoneforge Mystics and Wastelands. Yes. Now you can play all the best decks in Legacy. Oh, April Justice with the fifth month in a row with the Amazon Prime. It's still only Amazon Prime, it's tier one, you beautiful man. And Green Robbie's already started with the with the bits as well. Get in losers, we're going for a zero two dropping. <laughs> Yeah, you Let's never know. See. Our spicy things today might. Uh, if we might get a one with so. nothing this win, it's going to be pretty fucking exciting. So I guess we should talk briefly about the deck. Is Margin around to direct me if I'm getting something wrong here? Is he um, I don't think so. Oh, Margin, you bastard! He's set me out on a fucking. <laughs> he's like set fire to the boat and just pushed it into the lake with me on board. <laughs> he's like, don't forget to pour the gasoline on, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Vince, I love Junk Tron, so if this goes well, we've got another paper deck in the works. Exactly. So I've been meaning to go to different Tron variants and since since Mono Red Tron was so popular, I just never got around to it. So I want to complete the cycle with red. So we've got red. Uh, white, black, blue is obviously already a thing, and green's already a thing. So white and black. So white would be hopefully legendary. Dialects, Lancers and black would be fucking silly stuff. Green Robbie says that Maijin can't make it because of work schedules. That's fine. He's, he's, he's booked today to work to ensure that he doesn't have to watch me lose. One. I understand. But you can check out on the VOD later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this one with nothing, says Kogan13? This is one <laughs> with nothing. So we've got an Ad Nauseam Shell, and what we're going to try and do is put Baron Glory into play and then bounce all our permanents and discard our hand, which sounds like, like some dangerous fucking play, if you ask me. On the upside, the bouncing our permanents and discarding our hand is a two-card combo of one with nothing and uh, leave, which are both instant speed. So for those that don't know, Baron Glory reads as follows. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control no permanents other than Baron Glory and have no cards in hand, you win the game. So we have to play it out, survive, leave everything into our hands, and then discard it with one with nothing, untap, and we win. So, for the fun for people at home who don't actually know this, Baron Glory is the first ever uh, black boarded functional reprint of a, a silver boarded card from the Unhinged Sets, which was the... Did you rob you the card? The cheese stands alone. He does know, he does know. So this is the cheese stands alone. Which in the original art had like a giant cheese with like arms and legs, like sound like a superhero, which is just I don't even get what the fucking reference is, but Yeah, I have no go. idea. So how many times will the cheese stand alone today, kids? That is the question. Um the deck to assemble the combo is playing Spores of the Vault, it's playing Ad Nauseam, much like the modern Ad Nauseam deck of the titular Ad Nauseam name. We've also got seven versions to set up our draws, we've got Fast Mana in Lotus Blue and Pentad Prism. Uh, we've got um, protection for ourselves in Angel's Grace and Ketra's Monument. Oh, Ketra's Monument? Ketra's Last Mercy. And one tutor. The deck doesn't have any Simeon Spirit Guides, which I feel might be a mistake. Um, yeah, the more I look at this, the more I feel that's a problem. But I can't see anywhere we, what you'd cut. Like, we're already low on cantrips as it is. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just playing 64 cards. Who knows? Robbie's just pointed out that we have to do opponent's end step. Yep, definitely do. We cannot do it with this trigger going on the stack because I believe it's not like a trigger that checks on resolution. It checks to trigger. Yes, so we that's how it works. We can't yeah. respond to it. I will eat the cheese. Our only hope is that the OP gets severely mana screwed. Higgs boss and two, please do deploy the Gatewatch Mono White Tron. Is oh this yes. Like is this deck supposed to look like a piece of shit? Ivy Beast mode, yes. <laughs> Another one. Yes, it is. Intervening if trigger mode. Right. Okay. Let's let's. Right. We're, we're going to start out in practice rooms. If either deck feels competitive enough, we will go into a queue. Okay. That right. is the plan. I should really move my title so that you can see the fucking. There we go. Mr. Peace for the three months in a row. For anyone who's new to the stream who's just showed up to watch the Cheese Stands Alone slash Baron Glory slash a one with nothing deck and you haven't subscribed, you can press the button above my head to subscribe and support the channel and it helps me to push this further towards making more videos. And if you've never been to my YouTube channel, you should go check that out because my content there's a lot better. You can't see as much of my face and you don't get to hear as much as Rob. Nope. Although we're working to change that over time. Um, it's just a little bit fast and a bit wittier, I guess. If you count dick jokes as being witty. Well, it's it's rehearsed, whereas this is this is more, you know, it's live. You know, we're a little bit more. And if it can sketchy. happen when you're live, you shouldn't work with animals, kids, go live, or or suck off tramps. Is what I've heard because 
uh, or homeless. Uh, that's a taboo word, actually. Oh, word. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to get caught, Rob. Because um, <laughs> you might catch something if you uh, have oral sex with a vagrant. Absolutely. Well, given our original excursions into Twitch, I think um, Screen Lab should be added to that uh, list as well. Because you shouldn't yeah. suck off Screen Labs. Oh, you shouldn't work <laughs> with Screen Labs. Yes. Right. That makes more sense. Where is our modern decks? Right, Brewmaster, One with Glory. Let's Here do we it. Fucking go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep Stonewall from sit behind the clip in your videos gets me every time, says Red Hot 19. Um, John apparently fucking hates it, so I'm going to have to use it twice in my next video. Yeah, John let us in, but he secretly absolutely loathes it. So, all the more reason to. Uh, to Maybe do I should it. just loop it for like a minute straight. <laughs> we won the die roll, guys. Get there. Okay. Alrighty. So, okay. we've got Fast Mana, Cantrip. Yep, we've got Leave as well. Yep. And we've got Angel's Grace. So this I mean, have bad. you played? Have you played Ed Nauseam before? Um, I've played it on Cockatrice six years ago. Okay, cool, good. <laughs> I was going to lean on your expertise into the opening hands of an Ad Nauseam deck. I guess it's all going to go for. So. Um. Yeah. What do you reckon? The hour-long loop. I should put it up as an hour-long loop for that Stoneforge video, shouldn't I? Because those <laughs> videos do really well in the algorithm because they bring up the watch time as well. No, to now edition of Let's Keep It Going. Right. We're going to leave with Gemstone Mines and Monocast Sand Visions, and he's going to think that we're ad nauseum. So this has, in weirdly... Oh, hello there. I did not know that about Mindslaver. Apparently that was originally supposed to be a silver-bordered card. I've heard that as well. I think Marrow revealed it on his blog a year or so ago, I believe. Yeah. Oh, popular in the Blue Tron lists, I believe. Do we want both of these? I think we do. I don't know if we need our doors in there. Haven't we got the whole combo? Oh, no, um, we need one with nothing. Okay. Yeah, only one with nothing, yeah. So we're going to put on top of top. the library. Top. That way, that way, when we draw the doors in, we've still got some time to... Don't forget to play your list. Yeah. So how do we win this deck? So, Pans, what we do is we drop Baron Glory, and then we bounce everything back to our hand with Leave, um, which is the split card that we got on our hand there, and then we cast one with nothing to discard our hand and thus all of our permanents, and then we win. Oh, okay. So, he will probably take Angel's Grace here. If we th so, what I was about to say a minute ago, similar to, like, Mono Blue Minotaurs, and similar to um, a few other decks that I've played on the channel recently, this mm -hmm. deck likes to pretend that it's something else, so our opponent here will take the parts that he thinks we need uh, to combo off. So, he will miss the fact yeah. that we are this Baron Glory combo deck. Mm -hmm. Hey Vince, if you ever do Ors of Tron, you can do Academy Vector and Karas Vector Spike to assemble the Baron Glory combo on end step. <laughs> that is true. Yes, so, yeah, there. Ors of Tron in Legacy. We also just got a donation as well from Joey Quiznot, who I haven't seen in a while. First time catching the stream live, love the content. Don't go up on Commander Clash. You and Seth are my favourite content creators on YouTube. And Seth hates me. He just blows up my fucking lands all the time. <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I will get my revenge when I get to play Mono Land Destruction one week when, when it fits the themes. So we're going to draw Ad Nauseam now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's scry that. Oh, the scry's weak. Scry the Baron Glory to the top. No! <laughs> it's okay, it's tap land, it's fine. Better do it now. And so Smashing has just come in for four months of spicy brews and memes. Totally worth it. Thank you for the fourth month in a row, my friend. Take that Field of Ruin really lived up to his name. What, you mean Guild of Guin? <laughs> let's use his correct name, kids. Yeah, Guild of but it did definitely ruin you. <laughs> Please play Zozu. Oh, Zozu is really good. I so love Zozu. Shoots people for when they tap lands. Oh, yeah, non non basic lands. Will we see purple content in the future? Almost certainly. It's it's been a long time coming, and it will come. This week's yeah. modern. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, man, it's literally this is straightforward. Gen. That's not really great for us because Gen has a lot of hand disruption. But then he didn't cast enough on there, so. Seth is the real Goblin Trash Master. <laughs> he really is, that trashy boy. Okay, so next time we're going to add Nauseam. Mm hmm. Could do with drawing an Angel's Grace or similar, or even do a catch for spell for after we add Nauseam. Because you don't want to add Nauseam to ourselves to the point that Dark Confident just fucking kills us, do we? That would, that would suck. That would be embarrassing, yeah. Okay, so what does he reveal off Dark Confident? Hoop. Trashmaster is a great. Oh, he got a goif. 
Go Beefy Boy. And we've got another situation from Bossuna who is the, with us for four months in a row as well. It's hard not to swear on... Is it hard not to swear on Commander Clash uh, videos, which I do love you in. It's just such a breath of fresh air. Um, well, it's a breath of fresh air that I don't swear or breath of fresh air that I'm in them. But yeah, it's not that hard. Like, I work a day job where I'm not allowed to say naughty words in front of customers unless I like, get on with them quite well, I guess. So, yeah... Evil Geeks playing Krenko EDH. I fucking love Krenko. Oh, Krenko's good. You seen that? That yeah, that video that you did. We blew up all the things and made all the yeah, dragons. Made all the dragons. I, I played a bit of Perfrost for a video um, on the weekend, so I've got the I've got the footage. Oh, I love it's Perfrost. Quite, it's quite fun because one of the um one of the other guys in the game called me a oh boy. We got the combo. Oh. Okay, we can do it. We can we can do it on oh, the end step. Can we do this? Okay, so we we need to. We have to crack the Lotus Blooms and put a Bang Glory, so we have to survive a turn. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we're, no, we're, I think we're seven. I think we're, we're short still. No, we're not short, because in his turn, it only costs three mana. It leave plus nothing. So we can't wombo combo him here, but we just got to hope he doesn't hit us with hand disruption. Okay. That's all we've got to do. That's not so bad, right? We just need to dodge out. I mean, it is Jund, so he's got... Like, Odds he's got a discard pretty, pretty high. Yeah, like... But even then, like a Liliana doesn't hurt because we add nauseam, so okay. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Get your clips ready, everybody. Right, guys, <laughs> can we can we get through without a thought seize here? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding! Fuck you, Bob! Fuck! Maybe he doesn't cast it, maybe he just casts like two goyce. What's my day job to customers <laughs> recognise me? No, <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that famous. Ah, fuck you. Do we one with nothing now and hope to draw? No, we'd have to draw a lead and one with nothing in a row. Yeah, we just have to hope he takes. I oh, know he can't take ad nauseum. Weirdly, he? we're gonna have to ad nauseum for it. But that's okay. Whichever one of the combo pieces he takes, we can still. He pull has it off. to take one with nothing because leave is too good not to take. Sorry, what words <laughs> Sorry, out of my head? Leave has a second half that is relevant, is what I was trying to say. But my words just became like a fucking mess. Oh, leave costs six now because of the combine cost. It's Another not what it used one. to be. So he has to. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to get twatted for the damage here. Probably a second leaf now, I'd imagine, if he's cracking that verdant. Well, nothing in response, he can't take anything. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Like I said, this is not the best matchup for a deck trying to combo. Any any combo deck doesn't really want to play. No, sorry, Jund. spell based combo decks especially don't want to play against Jund. Yeah, creature based combo decks really don't want to play against Jund. <laughs> like, it's like when you used to play Jund or Abzan against Stam um, and Twin, it was just fucking laughable. Especially when you had more, like at that point in time, you played three or four Bot Decays. Okay, that's something. That so is basically, something. If, if we were at <laughs> nauseum, we would just go off and kill him. Yep, but we're not, so we can't. <laughs> um, we can't even cast that nauseam. No, we cannot. So we just have to pass and pray. We do. He's going to get Liliana again, though. Yeah, this is for six damage. Maybe we should have cast Chance. Because if we had Nauseam into a leave slash chance, we take six damage. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Well, we've got Angel's Grace, we'll be fine. <laughs> but we no longer have Angel's Grace. <laughs> I think we've lost. That Inquisition was incredible. I think so. When your deck folds to one black sorcery for one mana, it's not a good place to be. Okay. So we want to draw Wrath here, but we're not playing any. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think, guys, I think he's got us. Ketra's last... what's the name? Nope. Okay, let's do it. We have no Simeons, so this actually doesn't do... Anything. Oh, oh shit, Vemska and Anna. Hang on, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. 
Yes. It oh, does. you have to put the trigger on the stack. That's why. Right. Yes. 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 <laughs> what are we hoping for here? Yes. Oh. No. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Evil Geek, I would have kept yesing, but it meant you get to see the whole fucking deck, which would not have been good. Okay, um, problem. So we're not fighting over counter spells. Nope. Like, so we're, we're bringing four ley lines for his, counter, for his hand disruption. That's basically yep. the, the plan Okay, here. but what the hell do we cut? Combo we're pieces, I guess. Trying to leave. Trimmer Baron? Trimmer 1. Trimmer Oketra's Mercy? Oketra's Mercy, do it, shoot stuff like that. I'm going to keep that shooting in for Trimmer Baron Glory. Cut the spoils. Yeah, that'll do. Margin put a fucking six drop in our ad nauseum deck and no <laughs> simians. We should have really had like just one lightning storm and three simians would be a backup plan. The backup plan being make just play ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lots of mana and Baron Glory. Lines, Baron Glory, lots of mana. This is this is a keep, I think. Yeah. Well, we don't have a mate ley line. And this kind of weak to hand disruption. Yeah, that's my gun. Okay, keep. Keep, ley line. We got, we got, look how much how many health combo we got. So much. We just need to hope he doesn't fucking just play a goyf and kill us with it. <laughs> okay, see how we go. He's mulligan to six. He's put on the bottom of the line. I was confused what the fuck that ley line was doing there. I was like, what? <laughs> what? I thought it was in my hand. All the ley lines are in the top of our deck. Okay. Yeah, Robby might have a point that actually having all the traditional... Spoils. One of each combo piece, yeah. I guess do we spoils for a bloom here? Uh, Vince Brown, you sound quite quiet compared to who oh, Yogi right. assumes is me. Do I sound really quiet or just quite quiet? I just put the microphone closer to my head. <laughs> oh, I see. John specified that we must have four. Four. Ah. Never didn't have it. Okay. Yep. Now loot. Yes, beast mode. One with nothing combos with Baron Glory. So if we have all the permanents um, that we're on the battlefield now in our hand. Yes, and then we discard them through the power of one with nothing. We'd win with Baron Glory. Perfect. Playing with two of the biggest traps in all of Magic's history. <laughs> they are really not good. Um, I think we could get a Bloom now, right? It could hurt a lot. It could hurt a lot, a lot. We're not doing a lot. But let's do it anyway. Is it Bloom we need? We need Leave, but we can get Leave off of Nauseam. Yeah. Do we have to Bloom is what we need, because we need to get the Baron down, um, the Baron Glory down, so. Is this Mono Black Deprived? No, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Um, kids, what do I do here? I feel like I have to spoil this, but I don't know what for. Um... It's got to be for mana, surely. But Bloom takes three turns to come online, right? True. Ah, fuck it, let's get a Bloom. Oh, the deck list is probably the wrong deck list, kids. <laughs> Spoils for Prism. Ooh. Oh, that's a good thought. That gives us more mana. And then we only need one ladder to go off. How many are in the deck? Three. Probably. Oh, fuck. We only took 10 damage. 9 That's damage. Right. And another one. Oh, for fuck's sake, City of Brass. Why don't you just fuck off? <laughs> Red. 
and black. Pentad Prism. This is a weird version of Nick Fit. <laughs> There's more than one Angel's Grace in this deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Pretty sure there's three. There's four. Four, okay. Ay, 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 Okay, which is one with nothingness, I guess? We need it for the combo, Rob. I know, but we can tutor it out with Ad Nauseam. We really can't, because we're going to take... We're on ten. <laughs> I think our only plan here is just to slam down Glory and hope we draw the leave. So we want land into leave, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck me. Sideways. <laughs> we are mana short of. Okay, well, this, you never see this coming, buddy. Huh? <laughs> Kushmak, that's exactly as you uh, wrote it up. I wonder if we need Wrath more gods. Yeah, damnation would be good. Okay, we can play a Baron Glory, but then we don't get a turn, and then we die. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We cannot beat Jund. Nope. We Too got quite lucky. Our draws were quite good. They were absolutely. If we <laughs> it had not the hand disrupted, we'd have done it. So even when the when the fucking hands are good, right? What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go into the getting serious room to see if I can wreck someone with a lower tier deck, and then we'll go back to tournament practice in a moment. Okay? Because <laughs> we we deserve a handicap because our deck is. Garbage. Okay, got a spoils, got a bloom, got a visions. Keep. Keep. What more could a man possibly need? <clears throat> Bostoon is like, can we draft now? No! It's not <laughs> mono black tron. You guys are fucking evil. Right, I'm gonna suspend this, cast this. Uh, no, we haven't played Tron yet. We'll be playing it in just a minute. We're playing Tron anyway. in a couple of games, yeah. At <laughs> this rate, probably. <laughs> Still face humans and die. Sure yeah, probably. This um, is pretty good. Yeah, top, top. If this is like a humans player in the getting serious rooms, I'm going to feel fucking awful. <laughs> but then he might mend the image lightning storm and we're like, oh, gotcha. It's humans. <gasps> it's no, some it's not. form of humans. It's Norin Sisters. Oh, well, it could be. It could be. I bet you any money you like, it's Norin Sisters. Wow, maybe we will get there. Maybe we will. Or maybe we'll get killed by Perforos. <laughs> that is also a quite distinct possibility. Hashtag fuck off Norin. <laughs> oh god! I fuck, I've never played with City of Brass online for looks of things, so I did not know it's this annoying. This, yeah. It's like a signet, but painful in both ways. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's like even worse because of the actual direct brassiness of it all. <laughs> so we can cast that nauseam next turn if we wanted to. I don't know if we do. We probably want to. Wow. Hmm. What do we have nauseam for? Another one. one. Then we can't do anything with it. Well, at nauseam, hopefully, we'll find Baron Glory and one with nothing. But to find Baron Glory and one with nothing, that's at least seven damage. And we can't cast it. We need another Penta Prism. Update the record. Mm. All right, all right. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, Streamlabs, are you drunk? Okay. The the properties is now not available when you right click on the item on screen, huh. which it used to be. Bug. Bug or just a weird update. Uh, no, Sammy. We've so far we've done almost nothing, so you haven't missed anything. <laughs> he sort of died a jund. That was about it. Do we spoils in his end step? No, we don't want to spoils in his end step. I don't think. No. I don't know if we want to spoils at all. I think we're just nauseum. 
Alrighty. As you win from negative life, uh, after that, ne we don't go to negative life. We don't play the fraction on life uh, enchantments. We play Angel's Grace. Yeah, it is. It is possible to uh, play ad nauseum without those kinds of effects. It's not wise, but I think we have to cast this. But it doesn't because a lot of spells can't call on next turn. Yep. So then we can Baron Glory. So basically, here's my logic, right? So next turn we're going to have three lands and a bloom. That's Baron Glory minus six, right? Untap combo. Yep. So what we need to do is hit Baron Glory very soon because we're going to get hit for at least three, four, let's say five, six, seven damage. So really, we can only take eight here. That's just assuming he's got one w human. Let's do it. We're not playing this deck not to do it. Absolutely. Are oh, the life reset spells? That would be good. Oh, yeah. God, City Brass is painful. Here we go. There it is. I guess we don't carry on. Don't need to. Next turn. <clears throat> okay. Cool. We got. Ah, oh, we're just dead though. We're just so fucking dead. <laughs> we, have to, we have to draw a Ketra's life thingy, and that doesn't even get us there. Hopefully yeah, the trouble is, we can't afford to go down to a Ketra's Last Mercy, because well, we're we're not, we're not, we might not ever untap again. Four, minimum. Well, it's actually four, five, six, seven. Take us to one, so we can't tap our City Brass, we can't even tap, cast Baron Glory. Oh. Hello, infamous zombie, what's up? Hi. And we can play our... Shrine untapped. I cannot use. Okay. So we're just dead. Because if we draw a Ketra's Last Mercy, we can't actually cast it. Wait, we can leave our Pentap Prison back to hand and then die. Another <laughs> one. Or just die. <laughs> okay, being inside warning, it's fine. I think our deck needs a way to not die to creatures. Yeah, I, I'm seeing this definitely. He's not playing Hand Disruption. We can play Slaughter Packs. But that feels pretty fucking bad. That seems really sketchy. I guess we just have to go off faster than they do. <laughs> Which is literally <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob, that's... <laughs> you are right. I'm not laughing. I'm not saying what you said was dumb. I just don't think it's very likely. <laughs> on a scale of one to me sprouting wings and like fucking firing diamonds out of my asshole, I'm gonna rate it about a two. <laughs> Would you play like first? Yes. Okay. All the fast mana. Half we, the combo. We got this. Keep. We have to hit a land of this plus this. Yep. We get petal petal. Why are we playing? Why are we playing Last Mercy Mage? And when you watch this fucking video back on the VOD, why aren't we playing? Why are we playing Last Mercy? Because it seems like a Wrath would have just been better. Oh, we're just not playing them. So. Oh god, we want to draw that, but we also don't want it. I'm gonna to top it because we need it. We got the comp we got the whole combo then. Yeah. We just need the mana, which yep. to be fair, this hand looks like we might get to that mana. We got six there. That's seven, eight, nine. We've got the mana. Isn't it a nine mana combo, right? Uh, is a nine mana combo. We have to cast Pentap Prison, which means finding at least one more land. Ah, oh, bridges might be good. Fuck, is bridge the answer for Baron Glory? Maybe, yeah. It's cheap. It's easy to get with Ad Nauseam. All the spoils, whatever. Lantern control is perfectly fine. I just don't want to ever have to play it. One with nothing plus his name bridge. Yeah, that seems pretty good. You can just empty your hand and then... And then, yeah, then rebuild the combo at any point. Good, cool. Did they see Baron Glory? Yeah, we revealed it to have nauseam, so they could yes. turn them to disenchant effects. Right, so we draw one with nothing here and we send visions and hope to hit a land. We don't hit a land, we still have to score two to find a land. Come on, visions. Drawing. Jink attackers, I believe in you, even when you're all drugged up with needles and shit. We drew ad nauseum. I'm gonna. No, Jink attackers doesn't believe in you. Bottom that and bottom that. Oh fuck! How many lands do we play? 
some embarrassingly low number, I expect. 21? Yeah. I mean, 21 and 4 monkeys seems good. <laughs> yeah, there should be monkeys! <laughs> oh, why are there no monkeys? Okay. Problem. So we're going to have to play for the second latest bloom. It also means that we now need to hit an extra land to combo. Why don't you use the red suspended that lets you sacrifice permanence? So, so for everyone in chat to know, uh, Greg Argon might actually give this deck. This was brewed by one of my patrons in a challenge where everyone got to brew with one with nothing. I picked this deck because it seemed like the most flavourful because it didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> so I, I picked it and then I have to play it. Draw a land. Draw a land. Yes! Yes! White Doing and it. black. Sunburst 2, motherfucker! What? <laughs> that Dumping Sphere will slow us down by turn, though. Yes. I'm glad he's playing Dumping Sphere, not, I don't know, Disenchant, for example. There is a Monkey Vince in the top right hand corner. Evil Geek, that's racist. A Chinese pride, mate. Uh, I told you. It it's Norin Sisters. He just had a very aggressive human draw. Yep. I'm fine with him gaining loads of life, Rob. Well, gains of life puts a counter on the Ajani's pride, mate. Well, what I'm saying is if you had like a million soul sisters in play and Norin's, who gives a fuck, you know? Oh, yeah. Def well, I thought we'd die to the... I didn't play pride, mate, when I played Norin recently. I didn't either. I had it in my original budget list, but I cut it really quickly. Because it just don't do nothing. I prefer a mere generator plus impact tremors. Yeah, me too. And Norin's. All the Norin's ever. So we're going to... So Another okay. one. Trigger that. Resolve it. Cast it. I don't know. Dampening Sphere is a decent side if you think that we're playing oh, at yeah, Nausea. Of course it is. Of course it is. I don't think the cast about at all. Like, yeah. And also, I'll probably, in that that deck, I'll probably play it over a Disenchant myself. Also, he doesn't really know what the fuck's going on, really. Absolutely. So. One with nothing. Whoa, what am I watching? You're watching Baron Glory plus Leave plus One with Nothing. Go off. Ad nauseum style. We might actually get there. In all its Baron Glory. So we can cast Baron Glory here. Yes, we can. And then, and then in his turn, so six mana, seven, eight. And we can't go off because we need. No, to... so we need one, two, three, four mana after Baron Glory to do the combo. No, two for Lee. Two oh, for yeah, with this in play, yes, yes. yes, thing. yes. Yeah. So we can cast Baron Glory, and then that still leaves us four mana, right? Baron Glory, costs, Pentad does two. Baron Glory costs eight mana, um, eight mana now. And it costs six mana? No, but we've already cast two spells this turn. Oh, the Lotus Petals, right. Maybe. Lotus Blooms, but yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, 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 so. Do we pass the Baron Glory here anyway? No, just pass the turn. Next turn. Baron Glory for six, wait a turn, and then go again. He's not going to kill us, we're on 20. And he can't disrupt our combo either, because he's playing... Well, a disenchant is right? the only thing we have to play around. Yeah, yeah, it's, this seems better, because I can Oblivion will be pretty bad. Then leave him one next turn. Evil Geek, we can't leave him one next turn, because we don't have the mana to do that because of Dampening Sphere. Or Damping Sphere. I stop calling it Dampening, because I'm sure... The comment section of some video at some point is going to get very angry. So Jakey and Ralph, I agree, we're going to take it slow. Yep. This is where he now casts Stony Silence. Don't cast it. Mm. Fuck. Ah! That's a good sideboard card. It's <laughs> a pretty good sideboard card, to be fair. She's betrayed you. We can still do it, though. We can still cast Baron Glory. We, can. we need one more land to do the combo after the fact. Yes. Oh, I'm excited, Rob. I mean, I might have gone to the getting serious room, but that that doesn't matter. Hey, we are getting serious. <laughs> I guess, yeah. By definition, <laughs> that is exactly The combo is getting, getting serious. Oh. Well, useful if everything fucks up. So that's Baron Glory now. Yeah, let's cast this. Hang on a tick. Can we Baron Glory and leave this turn? No, 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 no. Then I... one with nothing on his end step. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, no, because 
Because Baron will cost uh, six plus one is seven. Then Leave will cost three, four, five. Ah. Because of Thalia plus atmosphere. Ah. So. We just Baron Glory and pass them. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's not an Oblivion Ring or Disenchant or like a fucking Leonin Relic Ward or just some random white hate. <laughs> but we can't do anything about that at any time anyway. So, unless we wait until we have like, you know, 13 mana. He may even just ignore that because he. This deck doesn't look like Monolactron. Monolactron's coming. Where are we getting the mana to that in end step? What? Who? When? What? Who? What? Mige is back! Remember mm -hmm. to save your black mana when you return and everything. Yeah, we need to flood our mana before we go off in the next end step. Yeah. Don't you dare cast. Oh. Uh... Oh my god! Even when we're playing shit decks, they have it all! <laughs> I have to save it with leaves, don't I? Even stand a yeah. chance, but then we're fucked anyway. That no, we, we're not fucked. No, we can't cast leave here, Rob. A, it costs four mana now, is that right? Uh, one, two, three, four. So we haven't got the mana. And two, no, we... it would exhaust our Pentap Prison. Oh. Okay, that's fine. We're on a good life total, still. We've got a Ketra's Last Mercy. We can rebuild. Uh, just set the record to the proper number. The record is zero one Ralph. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you crazy European man. Oh man, I wish you didn't have Terror as well. Me too. Like, we would have killed yeah. him the turn before if you didn't have Dampling Sphere. They always have it, even when they already have it. <laughs> and they don't need to have it because the deck's terrible. <laughs> fucking Jesus fucking wept. God, I wish I had a Wrath right about now. Yeah, the rest will be all good. Because uh, we're not going to last too much longer. It's okay. Get to his last mercy and will help us. It won't really do a whole lot, I don't think. It puts us back to our life total, right? It does. But we so we just wait. No, I think we die next turn. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One Thali is the turn. Another one. Dead. One human puts us to one. Okay, Ketra's Last Mercy also takes off all our Penta Prison mana and we don't have another land. Correct. Another one. Can't try it though. Um. Yeah, let's see if we somehow don't die this turn. I mean, there's little else we can do. I think Last Mercy should be Bontu's Last Reckoning, I think. Like, the only deck where that does that's any worse is probably Burn or in... No, just Burn. Even then, in Burn, you got to kill the Eidolons. That is true. Yeah, I think we want to improve the deck. I think Bontu's Last Reckoning, I completely agree, is probably better than Last Mercy. And then there's obviously the fact that we probably need some monkeys. You're friendly money, you chose deck ourselves. Oh, no, I chose deck myself. Another it's very I never wanted to win the fucking Twitter poll, guys. <laughs> We're dead, right? Because you're getting life. Um, Another one. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Zero. Okay. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> it's fine. Dog in house, burning around him. It's fine. <laughs> Just for fun. Let's go. Let's try and let's try and beat up on some default skins. <laughs> I'm like ours. Skin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is my tea cold? No, I just drank most of it. Right. Come on. Play some mercies. I'd, I'd have to go and get some Bond who's last reckoning. I don't own any. It's me we're talking about. If it's not a white card, I don't own it. Okay. This is a bad hand. Melon call for the win. I agree with you. I believe the Baron Glory is a complete trap. But you've got to try these things. Otherwise, you'll never know. Exactly. So first Milligan, though. I do not have bridges on my account. I can, I can get other stuff, but we've got another deck to play anyway. So we can always come... If the deck is popular enough for us to have to come back and fucking suffer through it some more, we will. Please don't make it popular. Um, we've got a Scry 5, one part of the combo. This goes to the bottom. That goes to the bottom. Yep. 
Is this three man for reckoning better than wrath or damnation? It's hard. Well, to yeah, say. that's what we were talking like, about. If we're going to use our pentap prisms and shit, then maybe we do want to. Uh... Oh god! Another life gain deck. See, we're favoured if if you just take the fact that we don't give a shit about their life total. That's very like true. Cast send this. Like asking to watch someone hurt themselves. <laughs> yeah, people were really excited to see me like zero five, as they put it. This is my favourite deck I've seen you play, says Shop Fung, not at all being sarcastic. <laughs> we w we will win, even if we end up in the fucking the, the, the starter rooms, like beating up people who've accidentally joined the event with a standard deck. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We we cannot beat a single standard deck with this with this fucking bile. <laughs> Don't attack me. I'll never ever be able to... No! Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Phew. <laughs> he listened. His essence wardens are merciful. They are. I love Scrylands. Scrylands are great. They remind me of a time when Standard wasn't lame. Mm -hmm. um, I think Scrylands are great. Are the, the perfect balance between fetch lands and, like, dual lands in general. Like... Fetches are too fetches are too annoying for standard, and I they're too. Do, I, I want to do some videos where we talk about. Uh, let's put that on the bottom. bottom there, yeah. Four lands, one bloom, one cooldown, and a bloom to set off. I don't think you can there either. I remember when these were revealed, right? People yeah. were losing their shit. They're like, "Why are scry lands rare?" Because and I agree with them. Like a game that a, a dual land with, that comes to play tap with a bit of life attached to it, it's fucking common or uncommon, right? Yep. They end up being a lot better than we thought they'd be. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It doesn't just fix your mana; it fixes your draws. It makes every opening it's, hand way it's better. Basically, half a card. That's card yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Um, but and it's a was... mulligan. Essentially, it's a mulligan in your hand and your opening hand. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, the, that rule was after this, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is this so... going to be a fucking spectral procession? Oh, Ooh. it's a lot of life, but we don't care about that. But I really want to go back and do a video where we look back at the old like spoilers, the source forums, Reddit. I'd like to gather comments as well to go over other old cards because there's some hilarious stuff. Where people oh, yeah. Like, like people hyped up the command isn't thing. any good. It's four mana and you might as well just play cancel. And some like Tarmogoyf is rubbish and just, just yeah. stuff like that. It's so funny. Fox Skull Reaver, wasn't it? It was like super hyped and then did literally nothing. That's cut. Um, Serogens. Baron Glory. One minute. We've got the combo, guys. That's a Ketra's. Oh, you just drew Baron Glory. Yeah, right here. So if we put this at the bottom. bottom of the library. Um, I think. So this do we need the other land? That's the question. I think we do. So we play land this turn. Next turn, let's turn of cooldown. Play Baron Glory. Pass turn. Then on our next turn, go off. We're going to give him two turns of. Three turns of attacking. I don't like that. <laughs> well, there's no other option, Rob. <laughs> um, let's bottom that and hope to draw an Angel's Grace, I guess. Do you remember when I really was fear of his £30 pre-release? Like, yes, I do. And my brother was super hyped for everything that was about that card. He was he was there. That was going to be his jam. And it was terrible. Yeah, I need to make some history videos around this fucking hype. <laughs> for all these grand plans for content, but I still have to work a shitty day job. It's not shitty, I don't hate my job, but I just would rather make content. Um, please it. don't be a Gideon. Okay, that's better than a Gideon. Ranger of Years. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's going to be a lot more live game dudes, but that's fine. Now. Next time we're going to take a minimum of 8. So 5 plus 8 is 13. And then we die. We probably should have like, kept thing in our fucking hand. Um, potentially. And we could draw one. Pete's I mean, here, I know we've got Pete's in the chat. Is he? Oh, hello, Pete. Hello, Holben. And your Aurelius Fury hype. Yep. He does love him some Aurelia. We're basically this deck, even at its best draws, with no hand disruption, is a turn too slow. Because again, <laughs> uh, I, I think our draw, we're getting relatively good draws for such a bad deck. And this is annoying, because when we play a good deck on stream, we get the worst draws possible. Absolutely. So, the question is, do I have Nauseam for an Angel? So, Aurelius Fury deals X damage. It's a blaze that taps creatures. And stops people from casting spells, I think. Hmm. 
guess we just have to slam Lotus Bloom here. Um. Vince, was it you who played Aurelia in the most recent Commander Clash? I haven't watched it yet. No, I didn't play Aurelia. I played um, Dacon Black Blade. I say Blade. Uh, I uh, got my lands thrown up and didn't really do a whole lot. Unlife might be worth. Unlife is bad though, Red Hot, because when you bounce it with Leave, you die to state based effects. <laughs> so it's not, not the best. It's Good not idea, ideal. But. Um, it's good, but it's not right. Okay. There's all the chance right. he just doesn't attack enough. I mean, there's every opportunity that he'll just let us do this. As in, like, he might... We might want to just draw Angel's Grace. Very true. Or oh, Ketra's Life Gain. Ketra's Life Gain would be good. Yep. Okay, we have two, we have two, we have two cards we can draw. Yeah. Two of them are on the bottom of our library. That's fine. No, no, we only bottomed one. No. We haven't seen Angel's Grace yet, but we have bottomed the Ketris thing. Fuck, we should have kept the Ketris thing on top. Well, <laughs> so we, we misplayed somehow to make this even worse. Yeah, I think we were so down on a Ketris uh, last word or whatever that, um, yeah, we just missed it. Okay, no Anthem effect, so we've still got one out. Okay. That was a shame. Can we definitely not do this on our upkeep? I'm pretty sure you can't. You can't. You can't respond to the trigger because it checks. It's like a state-based effect or whatever. Melkor, actually... stop trying to get around the, the fucking link thing or I'll time you out. Naughty boy. Solemnity unlife combo. Use last mercy when you're able to go off and live and win. Seems way too intrusive for a... Spite. I don't even know what Cavic Spite actually does. You do the thing where you go exclaim card, right? Someone exclaim card Cavic Spite for me. I'm feeling lazy. I'm feeling lazy. Five, six, that's eight. Go to five. Untapped or Angel's Grace. Win. That's the plan. Hey, there we go. It is black, black, black. Instant. As an additional cost, I cast a spell. Sacrifice all permanents you control and discard your hand. Target player loses five life. Is that modern legal? Uh, no, it's not. Unless it's been no, time shifted. No, because Karavak is from Ravnica, isn't he? No, Karavak was. He, the only card he, he's had is a time shifted card well, Kar from Plane of Chaos. Yeah, Karavak oh, spikes from Visions. I thought, thought <laughs> Karavak um, Merciless was on Ravnica, Ravnica for some reason. I might get him mixed up with Malfagor. Yeah, Malfagor's from. No, uh, he's from Lara, isn't he, Malfagor? Oh, we've got all the mana in the world. Right, can we hit... Can, okay, 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 guys, we've got this. Okay. We are going to... Pentap Prison. I don't know why Pentap Prison, because we just need to add Nauseam here. We don't oh, need, yeah, we don't need multicolours. No, I fucked this up. Oh, no, <laughs> we don't, we don't, it's mana neutral, it's mana neutral. It's mana neutral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Malfagor is a Lago, Rakdos. Rakdos, that's all I think. Okay, we need to add Nauseam for exactly... No, that doesn't work either. So the sad noise we have here for five mana. And then we've got two mana doesn't combo. We need a land and the Oketra thing in the top five, uh, four cards. Yeah, so what we yeah, so we just need to not die. We've got the combo, we just need to not die. We need to make it to our upkeep. You know, if we played this in Legacy, we could also play Teferi's Moss name and phase out. So we definitely win on the on the next turn. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. Rakdos in Africa. That does make sense. <laughs> um, okay, let's cast this and see what we find. Because at the moment we're just going to die. So we've got to do something. We've got to try. We've got to have a black mana available. So we're going to go because of the one with nothing. But... Yeah, well, we've got the temple over there. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Bum 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 Four. Four. Three. Angel's Grace. This doesn't get us there, though, because we don't have enough mana to go off. If we could then get a Simeon, which we can't, because another life total. No, we can... They swing. Angel's we Grace. live. Yeah, we can't then combo. We untap, pass them back, then they kill us. Oh. What we need to do is hit a catcher, and we haven't hit it. 
Well, we still we can go. Again. We can go again, but it just costs three mana. Ah. Uh. Land, Grace, Serum plus Angel's Grace. That doesn't do anything. What does Serum plus Angel's Grace do? Okay, okay, I've got it. We need to Serum into Spoils the Vault. Right. <laughs> and then we need Angel's Grace, cast Spoils, name a Ketra's thing. Yeah. Do it in his turn. Okay. We survive, untap, cast a Ketra's thing, go to 20. One, two, three, four, five. Take six, another seven, hit and then nine, win the ten, game. 11, then win the game. <laughs> okay, come on, we got this. Okay, so. No. No. So stay on three, play land. Actually, we should have probably just tried again and then just draw spoils there. That might have been better, right? Mm, possibly. Right, it's three. Visions. We need to see, oh, we need to draw spoils right here. Right, right there. Here. Come on. Or a second on. Angel's Grace. Come on. Which So we need to draw Angel's Grace or Spoils here to not die. We drew Temple of Enlightenment. Oh dearie me. Hello, General Fiver. You've just shown up for things to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yep. Thanks, Margin. We're dead. <laughs> okay. If that was preordained, that'd be so much better. We lose when your turn wins. No, because Angel Grace puts you to one. Oh, damage. Oh, shit. Okay. We'll die. We'll die because um, Spores of the Vault is life loss. Ah. Okay, we get another draw, so we might get another Angel's Grace. Very true. We might just draw a Ketra's bullshit. I did bottom the first cards, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I could have played Temple of Enlightenment now, but I guess actually no, because I need the white source for Angel's Grace. Okay. This deck looks amazing. This <laughs> um, looks can be deceiving. Absolutely. I tell my wife when she's looking at my bulge. It's just, it's just a matter of hair and yeast. Getting life. We have the combo. We just need to not have him get 20 damage on board. <laughs> she's is, he's getting there. <laughs> he is. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. He's, he's on 13 damage on board, guys. And he's going to get another bird. Another one. I think it's already in his hand when we hawked before. Yeah, he put all three in his hand. He's got two more hawks in hand. Well then. That's 14 on board damage. <laughs> Didn't Seth make a ga Baron Glory deck he won like two games out of ten or something? Well, you come here to see the same I, thing I, happen, I but with swear been. words. I haven't watched much rue of this deck. I didn't make this deck, by the way. It's made by Majin, who Majin Shinsa, who's in the in the chat. Oh, but you did not see my trap card. Pa pow, motherfucker! Get a one. Perfect. Right, easy Winning. magic. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> We've Get won. in. We've won. We have won. We got there. Well, okay, let's make sure he doesn't, like, <laughs> fucking, like, I don't know, Acacian Javelin near us. <laughs> hey, the, the, that has to tap, so you can't um, can't use it in it this turn. Okay, we've got white mana for Angel's Grace, we've got black mana for... Holy fucking shit, boys! We did playing it! Playing it out, playing it out and thinking it out, and borrowing in that shit, like, no disenchant one time. <laughs> if he wrecks age, if he can re if he fucking calls for wrecks age, I will literally fucking shit myself. No, Gavin doesn't get in there, guys, because we go to one whenever he attacks. He needs direct life to damage to our life or to kill our Baron Glory. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's pass turn. In his attack step, I will cast Angel's Grace. Okay. Come on! I will take a win. I will take one win against Green White Soul Sisters. Yep. Main, this is game one, isn't it? If his main board doesn't. This is game one, so it might, the only thing stage. the only thing they might have is maybe one O ring. It's probably what they're running. Yeah, well, they, if they have got cord, they might play green. They, well, if they've got cord, they will definitely play Rex Age. Yeah, they yeah, might play Shaman. Yeah. This clearly not the kind of deck that would play cord. Yeah, but this is clearly a budget list, so and cord is quite expensive. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't remind them it's budget. We're about to win, Rob. <laughs> He's on 52 life. We are so dead. I need to How will we get out of this one? Not bounce my Baron Glory, because that would be a real fuck-up, wouldn't it? Yeah, Lee's definitely says any number of phones, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he goes to attack now. <clears throat> so here it comes. Gonna hurt. Then we're gonna right click this, cast it off this white. Here we go. Okay, I did not fuck this up. <laughs> go to one. Go to one. Damage step. Main phase. Cool. He's end step. Go to end step. I'm so. Stay, well, okay. stay on the end. The right. We're in the end right. step. Right. Let's make right. Black Leave mana, first. White mana. Black mana. White, white mana. mana. Cool. And we're gonna cast and leave. Yep. That's everything. But Do glory. not touch Baron Glory for the love of God. <laughs> yep. That is everything, right? Yep. I'm just gonna double check. This one. Yep. yep. And this one. This yep. one. And this one. Yep. Sweet. That's everything but Baron Glory, right? I haven't fucked it up yet. Nope. You haven't fucked it up yet. Boing. Up we come. Make sure I don't use all the blacks. Don't somehow. double black it, yep. <laughs> I don't even know how that would be possible, but... Okay, all the things come back to hand. Don't disenchant me, bro. Like, main board disenchant would be the most obscene thing. <laughs> I would not put it past someone. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Do you know we could have main board? What? what? Dramoka's Command? <laughs> that is a card that Green White Deck sometimes play main board. Can you fucking imagine a Daroka's command right now? That would be amazing. Okay. okay, cool. Right, now use the black mana. We are now one with nothing, kids. Focus one. your mind. With Baron. Look at that board state! <laughs> Fuck, that looks awesome. This, this, is what, this is what Ape feels like when he doomsdays, because the deck's shit, but when it happens... It, it, it's, it's a moment. <laughs> guys. Guys. We got it's, there. It's on the stack, guys. <laughs> oh we did it. yeah chalk it up we've now got to win game two <laughs> the cheese stands alone the cheese has stood alone at least once tonight I'll take that 100, 100 cheer from Jungle Fiverr for Baron Glory hype <laughs> yeah boy I do have to update the record to be 0-2 because we haven't won this round yet okay we only have to go to the getting serious rooms to get there <laughs> Okay. Oh man. Some might even say that was glorious, Rob. That was that was barren glorious. We don't want Leyline. We don't want Hercules. We don't want Pact. I think this sideboard could use some work margin. <laughs> Luckily, as Valve points out, we're playing green white. That is definitely the colour combo with no enchantment removal. Obviously, Absolutely. definitely. We'll do, we be play, fine. do we play patch negation to try and stop his artifact removal? And chat removal? Because they do it in response, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, that was exciting. Let's put two copies in. Okay. Trimming one ad nauseum. Let's put three copies in. Trim one ad nauseum. Two, let's trim two ad nauseums and one spoils. That looks good. Uh, and thank you, Milkor, for the win, for the lovely compliment earlier. I... Oh, was he, he's bigging you up, wasn't he? I was, too, I was too in the moment to read it. Yeah, so was I. I'd like to go back and thank you very much for that. And for the text, thank you for the, the cheer as well. Sniper is so bad. Okay. Uh, well, if we play against, you know, um, artifacts stuff, like Affinity, Heracles yeah, Recall's I think Heracles is the most questionable card in the sideboard, because Slot Pack's pretty good against um, like D&T, against um, Grizzlebrand shit, I guess, and it's not that great. Uh, okay, Slot Pack's a bit questionable as well, but I think I think the pack negation's good against counter spells and stuff. Right, 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 right. Oh, right. What the hell is this? Kyoji <laughs> Takanuchi, we are playing Baron Glory, we just got our first win. All oh, Glory the Baron, Vince, wait, that sounds bad. <laughs> Baron Vince, I'll adopt that name. The Grand Baron Beard. We've got two copies of this fucking thing, unfortunately, but... Eh, hmm. Yeah, fuck it. It's got one card off the combo. I think Ensnaring Bridge would work, yeah. There's definitely some improvements you can make to this deck. Yep. 
maybe it's like waste not I come back to it for a later video because one win feels so good <laughs> that did feel good yeah rest in peace good cool yeah then we got loads of options in in these colors like there's a there's a good lot of cycle stuff we could do here we really want to draw like, some serum visions I think yeah I think so I mean, we need to start getting might be good in this deck as well I think actually the ad nauseum spoils combo of cards could be trimmed down on because as, we, as we've seen they've not helped that much at all so I think, I think it's a bit too much for liability given that we don't have enough ways to save ourselves yeah spoils might be fine but um, playing some uh, I know I'm ready for an updated waste not stormist shop fun I, I played it on fucking I, I, I put the video up on Saturday well, maybe he wants more. If you aren't aware, because I guess my Moobot is still saying about the horses video, I actually made another Waste Not video this week. So it's based on this, what we did stream before. If I do another Waste Not follow up in the future, I'm going to try some other spicy tech. So, for example, people have been saying about playing a one off. One. Um, uh, what's the fucking Surge Bushwhacker? Oh, uh, Reckless Bushwhacker. Yeah, Reckless Bushwhacker or an actual Bushwhacker. Um, because those allow you to give you zombies haste. That's a good um, idea. Or Tower of Hellfire, because that doesn't give uh, a shit about Leyline. What's the what's the card that um uh dredge was it a zealous um the Boros thing that they dredge return back and attack with everything. Gives oh, everything plus yes. some haste. But I'd have to dredge return it for a start. Ah. I guess I could I could hard cast it. It's, yeah. it's just not as good as the um uh Reckless, yeah. What oh, the fuck is it called? Bush Reckless Bushwacker. I don't know. Let's press a button on my... I've, I've got a soundboard I haven't used, guys. Let's do... What's this? That's the PS1 sound startup sound. I've probably got a combo, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing the sound effects. way too long on as well. It's now it's still going. It's still going. If you, can, you, can probably, you can probably time it in your head, right? How long the PS1 startup sound is. <laughs> Everyone knows it quite well, right? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Land. Make a blue. Make a black. Play a pentad prism. So that's the waste not deck that uh, video. That Thank you. If you in case you missed it, so you guys can watch it a little bit later. I should stay here now. Watch yeah. it later. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't leave. We win. What's great? So if we draw one with nothing, cast off float spirit, we can actually win again. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't have any interaction, I do think he'll have something. If he's a Kusali private mage, we probably should have brought in. Uh, oh, non-existent removal. Oh, sort of packs, yeah. So, did you check the Pro Tour, Vince? Well, I think of the Pro Tour. Yes. I didn't watch enough of it. I, I watched really? intermittently bits on day two and a bit of top four. Mm -hmm. um, I was busy recording with you for part of the top four. That's very true. Um, it's nice to see D&D &D so, D do so well without brightening. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> vindicated, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It made me feel very good. I also Fuck you, Professor. <laughs> um, I also enjoyed... Professor? Is, wasn't he the one that was advocating for Brightling? No, no, no. It was um, Liam over at the Thraben University. Uh, he is wrong. convinced because... <laughs> wrong Thraben. Yeah, the wrong... The wrong yes. Wrong, the, wrong, wrong, wrong university. <laughs> Those fucking academics think they know it all, don't they? Yep. <laughs> what is this beautiful... Uh. <laughs> Welcome to Spectre Night. We're playing one with nothing nonsense. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the Pro Tour, like, I actually enjoyed seeing the standard matches where Teferi was in play, because mm -hmm. I really like Teferi in standard. Me too. I think he's really cool. Oh, it opens been... up a lot of options. Exactly. Um, we can we can spoil here. Let me just turn down my uh, soundboard then to play this fucking hurt people's ears. Uh, let's play Mana Confluence. Then let's go get Baron Glory. Oh, fuck. This doesn't stop spoils from killing us. That's the thing. So let's go spoils. Yeah, because and... life loss. Is about to get vindicated because I just said the card's not good enough. Um, so <laughs> hang on, let's do this and then talk more about the pro token. Oh wow! Okay, we went to thirteen. Sweet, we're not dead. We took seven. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, so let's bring because we call our next turn. We play it. We integrate to survive, and then we fucking win. Yes. Come on, can we get a win? I'll probably take one two as our final record for this deck. Um, so and then we will set it on fire and never come return. How do you feel about Richard Higgins' like rousing churchill -esque speech at the end of the Pro Tour? What do you think of that? Um, I, I'm really hot and cold on Rich Hagen. Like, I, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes he does it for me. Other times, he's just cringeworthy. So. Yeah, exactly. I think sometimes... he's like the best of bad British entertainment. Yeah, you know? like sometimes he comes across as charismatic. Other times he comes across as very awkward. 
Yeah, and he can be earnest, and I like that, and I like his passion for stuff. I think stuff. he was earnest. I think he was being very honest. I, I, I fucking hated the old, uh, oh, we gave $60 million out over the last 25 years. It's like, and how much profit have you made? Like, the best part yeah. of, like, $50 billion or something over 25 years? Like, God Exactly. Knows League of Legends million. pays that out in, like, two years. Like. Yeah, exa- exa- exactly. It was it was tone deaf considering how upset everyone had been. Oh, God, yeah, this is, he has Leaflet on board. Awkward. So this is going to be a four, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't have lethal on board. Hmm. We can survive a swing if he doesn't play another creature, which doesn't seem likely. That does not seem likely. Not seem likely. So what do you think about team Pro Tours over that having one of each? I thought it was thing. fucking wicked this time around because we got to see like lots of variety and different stuff. And the worst thing about standard Pro Tours is when everyone's playing red, black mirrors or just, just do you know what I mean? There's only two decks in the format. Yeah, yeah. We that's also got true. to see the boogeyman of both all the formats. We got to see like people playing like um, black, red, and standard, which obviously we expected, and like and also the turbo frog, a nexus menace, as it were. And then we mm-hmm. got to see how well was KCI doing. Um, how did the legacy meta game shape up with Deckmite Shaman? There's so many like narratives to follow during the pro tour, as opposed to like you know, oh whoops, they broke modern again, or this is the deck <laughs> to play in standard. So I actually thought it was really good on the hmm. whole. Um, and I, oh, I like team events as well because the, the the cream of the crop rise to the top because the, the the best players pull up the other best players. It's not as much about variance. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But the the thing that bugs me about it though is that like if you're like it, like when we drafted, um, but when we the last time we drafted, we got Chris in specifically because he knows standard, right? Yeah. So if you're a team pro tour and you're the legacy guy you've not played standard for four years and then you win your match you go over to your teammates like what really can you contribute to a lot, actually a lot of the team like, teams actually said that during their after interviews they're like oh i just lead him to it he knows more about legacy than i do that was exactly so there's, some... there's less of a team dynamic than you get if you're playing like team unified modern for example like sure, they do it sure. world. I, mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind more team unified events to be honest as well yeah me too isn't know. liverpool team unified, it, um, team unified, unified modern, modern. Mm, we could do it yeah, well, I've got to find like-minded players that don't want to play anything about, basically. <laughs> well, I'll be at G- I will be at GP Liverpool 100%. Whether I'm playing the actual main event, I don't know yet. That's the question. Because I have a lot more fun where I can just fuck about and play modern legacy side events, really. Yeah, I feel you. Honour of the pure. A- We're a- dead. No, we have to top deck exactly Angel's Grace again. <laughs> Incoming disenchant. Let's go ahead and. So we're definitely. This is definitely lethal, right? Um, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, seven plus six is thirteen damage. One. So I use okay. mana confidence here because we're going to go to one anyway, so we don't waste the pr- prison mana. Yep, good call. Angel's Grace. He's probably like Angel's Grace again. He's always streaming on his side. Like he's always fucking got it. <laughs> That's the sound of a Hadouken, which is Angel's Grace, guys. I don't know. I couldn't remember to find the correct sound clip for what Angel's Grace would actually sound like. Is Angel's Grace literally just a frog? At this point, yes. Yep. So we need to draw exactly Angel's Grace. Though, actually, we can't use our confidence anymore, so we're still a mana off winning. Okay, that's not what we wanted to draw. Hmm, that's not really that useful in this situation. Where we're on one. I guess it's seppuku time, isn't it? I think so. Well, we won one game. Well, we've still got another round with this guy. We can still win the round. The war is not over. Oh, whoops, my Jameson man's gone. Uh... Yeah, yourself with man of confidence. Black. I'm going to hold priority. I'm going to cast leave, targeting everything. Then I'm going <coughs> to pay the mana, but hold priority. Yep. I'm then going to cast one with nothing. I'm then going to go ahead and tap for black. And then we've got a screenshot of it saying leave one with nothing, we lost the game. <laughs> Which is a stack I think we can all be proud of. I think that's something we can all Commit take Sudoku. Oh, two, <laughs> seven, I don't even know how fucking Sudoku works. you got to add the numbers up in the square in the middle or some shit. They can't. You, the the numbers can't be repeated in lines or towers. I'm going to just go for it with the combo. I think it's probably our better bet. I think so. We can't race this deck. I love the way you just try to explain to what Sudoku is. And I completely ignored it. 
I will continue to be, I will continue to be Sudoku ignorant until until magic dies and I have to switch to being a Sudoku channel. Then I will learn. <laughs> Keep this hand, please. No, maybe, kind of. Oh. We've got the two. We've got the two fogs that we often need. We would need to find a land and a bloom, right? Yes. But we've got to scry, 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 a draw and a draw to do that. Oh, fuck. Is this... This is a risky hand, right? I think we just have to mulligan to a better hand. Mm, I mean, it's not, the, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, okay, fine. We can, we, this can set up our... Angel of Grace is our best draw. card, right? Exactly. Right, we want mana. Even a bloom, I probably have to top deck. A land would be fantastic. Put on top of library. Okay, we got there. We got there, guys. We got there. See, we're okay. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. He said good luck. We didn't even respond. How fucking rude. I responded over half an hour later. <laughs> Thirty-two <laughs> minutes later. What a surprise! Always got the one-drop elf. Oh, I lied. He's got the soul's attendant. One of the pure. Is he just green for the extra soul warden? Like, seems. Feels odd. like it, and then maybe a few sort of sideboard stuff, like skews or whatever. I guess I use a blue off the serum off the pendant prison to serum vision. Is that correct? Um. Yes, I think so. Is yeah, because because the... if we you know because if we brick like next turn, it's going to slow us right down. But we can save that mana. Because what have we got? What have we got? This cost. Say so next time we draw a land, we can't do anything. Like, is there anything that we can do with one, two, three, four, five mana that we want to do? Yeah, next I you. Okay. Well, if that was the case, then we should have serum vision to guarantee the land drop. No, because then we have four mana because we'd lost the mana from this printer prism. That's true. We want Another the loom, I think. Holy fucking shit! Yeah. The aggro draws. Build your own souls, attendant Delver wizard. Yeah, build, build your own uh, Sarah avatar. Yeah, Griff's <laughs> boon would make it into a three-two, and it literally would be. <laughs> okay, this isn't bad against this deck, is it? That's gross. Yeah, yeah, I think we've we've got some cushions. Soft cushions for our bottom. I'm draw a land. Okay, we're going to Lovely. bottom this Mercy and top the Visions. Yep. 100%. Cool, play the worst land in Magic. If only we had... If we had a Bloom up, we could, like, <laughs> Angel's Grace had Nausea and draw half our deck, then Bloom to gain the life back, and then wish we hadn't done that. I don't know. I don't know. This deck is complicated. Yeah, I mean, oh, most of the spell-based combo decks are, aren't they? Well, the thing is, Ad Nauseam is quite a difficult deck to... Well, no, it's not. It's for... Mainly dickheads play it. But, um... <laughs> in my experience, like, all my local players that Ad Nauseam players tend to be dickheads. Well, it's people who like to masturbate, isn't it? It's I, like, I can beat Thalia, the Sworn Cannonist, and... And your... Uh, your your spell... Um, what's it called? It gives me creature protection from non-combat damage. Uh, yeah. Mark of Asylum. Yeah. And they didn't, and I killed him with a vile dedication chef on Lear and Enstep to untap and shoot for <laughs> one with an Enge <laughs> the, the player will be unnamed, but he is a bit of a helmet. He also um, cheats the same play. He claims that if you split second after you've cast Lightning Storm, once this resolves, you, you can no longer like count with the Lightning Storm. Um, no, that's not, yeah, that's not how it works. But that's we, not... We, we caught him telling a player that, and we're like, uh, that's not... Yeah, because you... you... You can't interact with it while spells on the stack, then the spell resolves, split second no longer applies, and then you can respond. Is that how that works? Yeah, as long as it's, just, it's on the card whilst it's on the stack. Yeah. He likes our combo, which is cool. Uh, That's nice. We're going to play Mana Confluence. We're probably going to... Do we Nauseam? Probably not. Um, a lot of times, yes. Complicated is British slang for garbage, or also like some kind of unstoppable, like kind of trash fire that you can't possibly ever, ever hope to get a handle on. But you just say it's complicated. 
Let's go ahead. I'm going to add nausea in here. Like, we're in a bad spot, right? Oh, you. We're always in a bad spot with this deck. Fucking city of tits. <laughs> city of ass, in fact. Lotus Bloom. Pentaprism. Pentaprism. No. Spend that. Okay, we might be dead next turn. <laughs> if he one. plays two creatures, we die. If he doesn't, we gain our life back. Yep. Oh shit, no, he hits us enough that we can't... Mana Confluence. Ugh, again. Shit. Hmm. Problem. Oh, that's exactly what he needed. <laughs> Yep. Well, that us <laughs> killing ourselves. GG, well played. His deck is... Uh, well, any deck is better than ours. GG, well played. Yeah. Say hello to YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, please put in the comment section, hello, how's the aqua? And then you guys can like, be friends. I think we retire this deck at this point. I think so. We, guys, we had a good run. We won a game. It was great. We did. We won one. And that was great. That was that looked great as well. I hope some fucker clipped it. So I can put that as the highlight for this video. Then people can come to watch the VOD and be like, why did I get pulled into this shit? Hello, how's the aqua? What, a, what an interesting name. Right, okay guys, that, that was Baron Nauseam. That was <laughs> another one. A one with glory. That was... That was an empty glory hole. That once you put your dick in it, you stand around for like five minutes, nothing happens, and then you're like, "Well, that now was I nothing, feel silly." Nothing, it's a trick glory hole. More. You put your dick inside it, and then like alarms go off, and the curtain pulls back, and it's your parents are sat there, and like we expected better of you. The barren glory hole. Because the glory hole is like in the wall of a toilet, and it says, "Stick your dick in for a free BJ or even a GJ, which is a gum job where the person has no teeth," and then. The whole thing is just set up to see if you're morally incorruptible. And I'll give you a spoiler, but most people aren't. Really? Yeah. They see a £10 uh, note on the floor. They try to pick it up. Yeah, I totally would. They oh my god, I'm corruptible. You are, exactly. <laughs> the Lost Flowers, thank you for the Rich Prime subscription. I'm sorry that your um, your subscription noise was overshadowed by some like, glory holes. <laughs> um, Rob, what kind of person are you? Do you eat your lunch first thing in the morning when you get to work? Like, oh, I really wish I hadn't fucking ate all my lunch. Or do you eat it at lunchtime? I eat my lunch at lunchtime. You are... You have the sheer determination and will of a saint. I do, but I also have delicious breakfast, so I don't really need lunch. I don't eat breakfast enough. A guy at work always... today said to I... me, he's like, you're... Steph's popping red around and making funny faces because she's like, what a <laughs> fucking knob. I was, I was sad. <laughs> so I, I, my, my co-worker saw me eat like a banana and apple and a packet of like hummus-flavoured fucking corn crisp things right that was my breakfast and then later when I was eating a baguette like a, a prawn cocktail baguette and he was like didn't you already have your lunch like, that, was at, that was at nine o'clock <laughs> breakfast for fuck's sake but what about second breakfast exactly exactly very true but right. you, you're not a hobbit because all your hair is on your beard not on your feet hello blown away gamer we have just basically won the internet for today with barren fucking glory also i have quite hairy feet rob not the hairiest do i flash okay. my feet on camera is no. someone to screenshot that and masturbate over it later yes oh, almost certainly <laughs> we ralph won it as well right <laughs> we're going to see a quick break for some drink in a second however we're going to quickly talk about what we're about to play so okay so we're going to play mono black tron we are. We are indeed. Another one. With the most graveyard hate I've seen on a modern sideboard in quite some time, four ley line, three extraction. Again, you do not I want to lose the hollow one. I did not build this deck. This was a Brewmaster winner from Myjin. He won two weeks in a row. So, we have the uh, the selection of Urza lands plus expedition maps. Go find them. We have Urbogs and Swamps. And we also have the other secondary sort of pumping of mana comes from Crypt Gas, which allows our swamps to tap for double mana. We then have Hand Disruption, which allows us to slow the game down and play at our own pace. We have Removal and a copy of like, Dismember. That's kind of our only removal, other than the bits going to come to the moment, which are like Wraths. Then we have like Card Draw and Read the Bones. We have a Josu Vest for the meme. We have four Pursuits of the Queen, which is kind of like a weird shooter that shoots for exactly a card of CMC equal to or less than the number of lands in play. 
So if we cast it off a three Tron lands, we get to get a three drop. But luckily, all of our X spells bar into the pits is a three drop. We also have two gravy trains and the edgiest goth in all of the multiverse, so I'm Markov. This deck is missing collective brutality. It probably is, to be fair. That's probably a better removal spell than... Well, no, it's not a better removal spell than December. It's a more versatile removal spell than December. Even yeah. some in the sideboard, I guess. But I would go. I would say two brutality to read the bones. To be honest, though, I mean that's our technically our hang on those to any target. I can't even remember. We, guys, we have one of Marga Trait of Mortals. Oh, Marga! Yeah, boy! Fucking hell! So we have Black Sun's Eve as a Wrath. We have Torment of Hellfire, kids, which is. Oh, Torment of Hellfire. That is that's the reason to play Mono Black Tron is Torment yeah. of Hellfire. I also think one copy of Profane Commands should be in the list somewhere, because that just domes people and brings back creatures and gives things fear. Might yep. you make a seven seven Marga that shoots them for seven. That would be pretty And then sweet. you give it fear the next turn. I'm surprised we haven't got the um the the X tutor, Expo Tutor as well. Um, isn't that a lot of mana? I mean, well, it's technically it's, to do nothing, I guess. Thanks for four X as the thing is. Yeah, so by the time you've got Tron online, you can shoot over three things, and then you don't really do a lot for that turn, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. So Vince, when are you going to play Money Black, Big Man, on Commander Clash? Unsure. This week is one ticket Another that one. we're filming, and the week is it, just coming is out. Is it? Yeah, it's one ticket this week. Yeah, Fantastic. exactly. So we're going to have a one ticket video go up this week on my channel, and then one ticket goes up on Commander Clash next week. Lovely. And, um, this week is going up is... Uh, View submitted, view submitted and I picked a yeah. deck by a gentleman called... I think his name was Joshua Gunner. I've got a screenshot of my hard drive. Another one. And it is... Uh, I'm playing Group Hug this week with um, lots of real Group Hug effects. Not the Group Hug where I accidentally made two Ulamox. That wasn't really <laughs> the best form of Group Hug. Right. We're going to take a quick break to get a drink and then we'll be right back. So all 119 of you don't fucking go anywhere or I will come to your house and shit in your tea, I guess. I was going to just shit on the floor but then I went for mouth and I thought I'd spice it up. Breakfast also, cereal. And your breakfast cereal, even in your fucking your bag of hummus crisps that you've got that you should leave for lunch, but you end up eating as your breakfast. I'll shit in those. Also, if you haven't subscribed, put click the subscribe button above my head. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, go over there because we're fast approaching 19,000. Um, we are 18,270, I think, at the moment. So I'm hoping to hit 20,000 by next Monday. So we're just fucking ramping it up. I'm coming for Tulane Community College. I'm going to be bigger than him. And I'm going to stream every day for 365 days. I'll be like, Numa, where's your fucking audience now, bitch? And um, yeah, and just play the heel of the community. Right, let's get some drinks and then we'll be right back.
Okay, we are back. I have fizzy lemon water with ice in it. What, what is your tipple today, Rob? Uh, one sec. Uh, my tipple tonight is elderflower presse, which is on offer in Sainsbury's at the moment. It is delicious. Um, Steph just brought Bruce in to say hello as well. Hello, boy. Hello, Bruce. Hello, boy. Hello. Do you know if when chat catches up and starts shouting Bruce? He's waving. He's waving. It is a good pupper, isn't he? He's the best pupper, yeah. Ralph. Aren't you, boy? Can play some monobatron now. Don't lick my mouth. Don't really let your tongue in my mouth if you've licked your own balls. <laughs> the lack thereof, we have, we have done the deed. Oh, big yawns there, boy. Right. Oh no, I'm not a fan of uh, the only, the only infect creature. I'll, 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 any infect thing I'll do in uh, EDH is uh, Scytherix. Craft exoskeleton is just a bit too, <laughs> bit yeah. too, uh, bit too much for me. You're not keen to just one one shot someone out of nowhere. No, not really. I mean, I'll do it with. I, I, I've run it in. It's signposted though, right? Compared it is, yeah. Because I mean, I run Scytherix in um, Mimeoplasm just as a way to just end the game, which is all it's there for. I wouldn't. I, I won't just cheat her out suddenly. But I think Tain Strike's okay. It's a. It's a bit cheap. Tain like, Strike. Well, uh, what's the other one? The the uh, oh, Triumph um, of the Horde, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, the the yeah the Overrun with Impact. That's the one that is the pisser. Okay, we've got a map. We've got Tron and nothing to do with it. I'm getting some feedback from you, Rob. Just ever so slight, by the way. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that's something's changed. Um, is that better? Agent M, this is gonna be a video. How did you miss Baron Glory? This this whole video will go up. So Baron Glory plus Monobat Tron. And yes, there's no feedback now, Rob. Okay, cool. we've got Inquisition and we've got a way to assemble Tron. So let's try and draw in some gas, I guess. Like, there's a lot of good quality top decks in the Tron deck, so. Let's just go with it. We're going to turn one. I'm going to turn one Inquisition. Probably should play Nerdbog first, really. Okay, we're against Mardu Pyromancer. Thought Seas is going to take our map. We have no answer for Pyromancer. Let's take Pyromancer. Perfect. You can thought this is our map, and then we just need to draw gas. That's what you need. Did I mess? Yeah, people, people are coming to see one with nothing. I'm sorry, guys. We're playing Mono Black Tron now, so the, the meme is not over. This is uh, <laughs> Meme Stream 2 Electric Boogaloo. Absolutely. I like the Soul Foundry Rat Colony comp. It's really cool. Yeah. Soul Foundry is one of the first foil cards I ever got with Soul Foundry. What does Soul Foundry do? It is an artifact from Mirrodin block, and it imprints you exile a creature under it, and then you tap X for its convert mana cost to make a copy of that creature. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Oh. Tron. Well, so, of course we do. We're playing Tron. That's how it works, right? We just right? need to draw a Tron-style threat. Yeah. So we know Thoughtseize is gone, we know Bloodstain Mire is gone, we know Black Nucleus is gone. He's got a Reveler, a Collins Command, and a Bloodstone Mire. Okay. Okay. That's Alrighty. Cool, Torrent. You might just get to torment him for seven in a little bit. That would be fun. Just Tron things. Yep. Gonti is good, but he's four mana, and our Beseech the Queens won't typically always get... Um, yeah, I mean, so what? What? What's in place of Gonti? So we've got what's in the four drop slot? Ideally, you don't really want four drops with two two black mana symbols in them. I mean, Josie's slightly different because the kicker, I guess, right? Yeah. But you want either big threats or easy to cast four drops. I mean, even Solemn Simon that comes used to play mono red, for example. Yeah. It's gonna bolt us. Okay. The less cards in hand, the worse this torment of Hellfire gets, right? He's trying to get Bedlam over online, so that's two yeah. cards in graveyard at the moment. Do my gone. It'll put a K commander and make us discard and discard at Urborg, I guess. Mm -hmm. no Is there any reason not to run Hive Mind with one with nothing? Um, I think it's a bit much. <laughs> hive Mind? Fuck me. <laughs> K command makes us discard. We'll discard mine because we want to be able to Urborg to get the Torn of Hellfire online. Ah. Oh. Blood Moon. In our first fucking game of our first match as Main well. deck, Blood Moon. Fine. Oh well. At least got four swamps. I or mean, rather, four black producing mountains. We're gonna torment him, then exanguinate him. 
the deck lists aren't in the deck list box. I haven't I haven't updated them to the move, but I'm afraid. So that deck list is going to be. Where's that deck list going to be? That is junk. Nick fit from last week. I'm going to play the sad trombone music now for the blood moves. Bit late, but. It's in a cake and mine. We'll just go to the mine. Cake and mine. We'll just go to the mine. Yep. They always have it. They do always have it, don't they? Yep, but so did we. I mean, we did have Tron. <laughs> we did have Tron. We had Tron in the matchup where it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we need to draw another swamp, sorry, of course. My bad. Yeah. Yes, Norin sisters. Call me CJ. Much respect for the Norin sisters. Kahiji Politics is my deck that I'm playing um, this week on Commander Clash. I'll go out on Saturday. We have no way to deal with Moon, obviously, as we're in mono black. Mm-hmm. Do you want to draw a swamp, right? That's all we want to do. Okay. So we should be running Meteor Golem. Yeah, Meteor Golem, Spine of Ishar. No, people definitely mainboard Blood Moon. That's yeah, I would mainboard Blood Moon if I played the Blood Moon deck. I've mainboarded Blood Moon plenty of times in. Oh, fuck off. I just wanted to chain them turn after turn. I guess we could just draw a swamp and then just draw X spells for the rest of the game, and that would be pretty fucking good, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if we draw another swamp, we're actually still in the game. If we don't draw another swamp, then we're, we're not. It's yeah, this is the thing. This is the problem with Tron. And people think, oh, yeah, Blood Moon kills it, etc., etc. But if you stick a Blood Moon and you cannot kill Tron player, they will get to seven mana and then they will kill you anyway. Yeah, exactly. But we're playing double black spells, so <laughs> it's not quite like that. Yes, come on. Right, okay. Got there. So we're going to torment first. He's, he's got two cards in hand. And we can torment for four. Yeah, so he will lose. All, either, both his cards, both his board, or lots of life. Yeah, so we're going to cast Torment first. Yeah, I'm not so down on the white girls getting triggered name, but Norin Sisters, definitely good. Loses the Another mental, one. Understandable. Loses the Blood Moon, that would be pretty sick. No, he just took... He, he just got a Bedlam Reveler, lost an Elemental, and took six damage. So not bad. So yep. Sanguinate kills him next turn. Oh, no, it doesn't. We gain... No. The double... no, we don't gain another life. I'm thinking depth to depthless, aren't I? Yeah. But if we draw Exanguinate into Exanguinate... Yeah. How many basic swamps are there? Uh, a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're playing over 10% of our deck. Uh, Inquisition. No. Womp, womp. I'll play another side trombone. <laughs> still sounds very loud. I don't know why. Oh, we had a better than Revelo as well. Okay. <laughs> I am the vegan soy boy socialist. Uh, Beseech, eh? Another one. Okay, let's go in. What does work here? A Grave Titan, I guess? Yeah, we've got six lands. Yep. Yeah. God, oh, that's that feels like a powerful card right here. Um, Black Suns for four would kill everything, but I think a Grave Titan's better, right? Because we get to just make loads of dudes and, and stuff. Yeah, like that. and it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll stabilize us certainly. That's to be a thought season sand. V Vince, are you actually vegan? No, not fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Do you I not see his holiday I, pictures? I so eat much so meat. So much meat constantly. Hey, first time watching the live stream, but have watched the VODs. Hello, King Dragon Tamer, welcome. I'm glad a new player's ever managed to get in before getting in as well. Get in here, tell Cracky Senior that he's a fuckhead. Tell Ralph that he's a d Ralph that he's a d Ralph. Ralph is a d pervert. I hope he doesn't have Terminate in hand. That would be. That would make me quite sad. But he hasn't cast anything, so I think he's got Terminate. That is my read. We're playing Mono Black Tron. First round, first game, main board, Blood Moon. Dun, 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 dun. Another one. Okay, well this is fine. If he's got Terminate, then we can still block. 
That's true. Dr. Carl just pointed out I do talk about kebabs and curry a lot. And yes. whilst curry can be vegan, kebabs really struggle. <laughs> well, you can have a vegetable and halloumi kebab. You can. Oh, wait, halloumi's not vegan. I guess kebab is actually... Yeah, halloumi's not the good idea there. But kebab is actually about skewered meats or, or the way of cooking it more so than the meat itself. Guys, this has we got turned there. out very, very well. Um, I'm just going to fucking torment him for as much as I can and see what he yep. does. Go for the whole the whole hog, as it were. Alright, do you want to take 15 damage or start sucking your board? <laughs> yeah. So three cards in hand, to be fair. Yeah, and way... With lingering Souls, words. Lightning Helix, and Lingering Souls that he can't cast. We just enabled his Lingering Souls, frustratingly. Yeah. Um, well, he might be stupid and sack the swamp. Go to yeah, five. five. Okay. Swing. Uh, with just the Titan, right? No, swing with everything. So one so make zombies. Lock. Oh, I guess, yeah, it goes to one. One zombie place. dies, yeah. He's making a lot of one ones in the air now, though, isn't he? He's making... Yeah, oh, no, he's, no, no, he's making two one ones next turn. Yeah. Cannot sacrifice lands to torrent. Oh, I didn't know that. What's that? You can't sacrifice lands to torment. Actually, if we don't, so if we swing and he just he blocks the grave titan, yeah. takes four goes to one, untaps, yep. swings four, four five six. We make six, zombies to block. Tool. Yeah, we do. Okay, okay. Much love, Vince, but never your Twitch just got it to watch you. Oh wow, thank you, peace, love, oh. and anal. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> peace, love, and anal. Are you are you just a fan of Bad Boy MTG or are you Bad Boy MTG? Another one. What takes priority, Urborg or Blood Moon? I believe it's the order in which they were played. No, I think Blood Moon just makes non-basic lands become mountains, and therefore Urborg's text no longer exists. Ah. So even if it's played before, everything will be swamps. Then Blood Moon turns Urborg off, and then everything else becomes. Okay. Like, if I, I will sort out the decklist link after this game so that everyone can actually look at the decklist because it does seem fun. It does. Oh, that's a pretty good draw for him. So he plays like this and then makes two dudes and two dudes. Mm -hmm. But I guess we just keep swinging. We've got this like fucking Grave Titan Abyss nonsense going on. Yep. And we can just top deck another Exanguinate sound effect. Yeah. Sorin. Anything. Oh. God, my cock. <laughs> just did a fucking five gun salute at the idea of casting a sword onto this board <laughs> hi gang says Alex hello don't open the fridge also known as Alex just used to him say just use his saying as a username couldn't use my actual name I'm not bad boy MTG but much love oh bad boy got chewed out bad by Unsleeve Media back in the day didn't he before everyone realised how much of a dickhead Unsleeve was I'm about to go to town on a Cornish pasty you're going to town you're going to ride a Cornish pasty like a fucking like a like a like a carpet. Dang, he can quadruple block our grave titan here. Uh, they can, but they, they would die. Do. Yeah, because the zombies would kill them. Yep, get in there. Make more zombies. So he has to block and it kills stuff. Yep, and we can block the two biggest things and still not die. Yeah, we'll be yeah, fine. That seems fine. You say, well, it's abyss nonsense. Best MTG YouTuber right here confirmed. Ah, confirmed by Peace Love and Anal. <laughs> I'm going to have that on my gravestone. Best <laughs> MTG YouTuber confirmed, guys, as said by Peace Love and Anal in uh, 24, uh, on the 6th of 8th, 2018. I thought on your gravestone was going to be just one more land. What? No, that, that is, yeah. Oh, this, this, this two land will be fine, right? So it makes another three dudes next turn. I can't actually die. I'm immortal. My Horcruxes are um, jank. <laughs> My life force is directly linked to magic. <laughs> yeah, when they uh, abolish the band and restri uh, sorry, the um, uh, what do you call it? The, um, reserve list. Reserve list. Yeah, then you wither and die. I grow more powerful. Um, do I even block here? Because I attack with four things, and he has to block everything and loses everything. No, I don't block it, do I? Nope. Because then if Pyro's dead... Yeah, well, what has he got in for... Yeah, burn spells is the only thing he needs to worry about. Well, 
Or we can play Bolt or I can land. He's got no cards in hand, so we should be alright. Come on, literally anything. Yay, that's literally anything. Uh, GG. So you do that for one and then kill him? Yep. This seems pretty good. Pretty fun. Attack little creatures. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Smash. God, I love Grave Titan. Grave Titan is the best. He's at least my third, perhaps fourth favourite Titan. He's my number one. He's my wow. Mac Daddy Titan. Sun Titan's the fucking best. I've played Sun Titan for years, and he's awesome, but Grave Titan's still way cooler. I'm going to have to play the Boom Headshot for that. I've got Boom Headshot on here somewhere. He's a one-eyed giant with zombie twins. Like, you can't get much of <laughs> I've got a fart button. He's gonna play that every time I open my mouth. <laughs> right. So guys, yeah, time what time. is Chat's favourite fucking? Uh, Another. I think I might. I need to make a video of the fucking Titan order. And Worm Call Engine is the sixth unofficial Titan because he came out literally the set after or before. Um. So against this guy, I think we want Worm Call Engines. Yes, we do. Because they die and create things, and they go through Blood Moon. Oblivion Stone gives us an answer to Blood Moon. It's the only answer we've got to Blood Moon. Leyline? Nah. Souls? Not, not good enough. Not good enough. We can, put, we can bring in one Surgical. Okay. For, for Souls. Yeah. Um, I think we cut Dismember. Yeah, Dismember seems pain. He's, he's playing tokens. playing Mardi tokens. He's not going to do enough. Crit Gusts are two twos. They are, so they die to... All of removal. <laughs> trim one of those. Trim Grave Titan, Prime four. Titan, Sun Titan. Oh, Sun Titan's the best though. He just he's just full of value. So great. He is and so is he Prime is. Time, I guess. But Prime Time's kinda of dull. Prime Time's kinda of like oh, he's just he's just dumb and dull, do you know what I mean? Like he can do a lot of stuff and he's great and the value is great, but did I watch the top four? No, I didn't, Alex. I only watched bits of the top four of the Pro Tour. I did not watch the final match. I watched the semi-finals, the, the last two semi-finals. Uh, I, I did tune in to see a DNT with three vials in play, and on the other side of the field was a Dread of Night, Elenia, last open, two Gurmags. And I was <laughs> like, oh, that does not seem like a good position to be in. Nope. It seems rather precarious. Frost precarious. Titan. Phyto Titan. I saw Gorilla Titan as well, Robbie. That was there. That was inspired. We're talking about the Titans, guys. The. No love for Inferno Titan, though. Sandering Titan. I mean, say... Alex says Frost Titan's pretty good in the most of this. They're all really fucking good. Like, if any of them put it in standard tomorrow, it's instantly see huge amounts of play. Take Sarkin out because he's double black. Yep. Take out Wumpus each. Again, because they're multiple black, in a way. Um... Salvage Titan. <laughs> We're talking about the five coloured titans from um, M10, 11, and 12, or M10, 11, plus yep. Worm Coil as the unofficial fifth one, because he was in the same standard, sixth one, because he's in the same standard with them. I think, I think Grave, yeah, I heard the Gravy Trains won it, I think. Sun Titan was probably second. I need to make a video about this. Attack on Titan him. is the best titan. Get out. Oh, you and your fucking anime kids. I thought we'd culled all the children in our chat. <laughs> wow, shade roll. Absolute shade. <laughs> this hand is hot garbage. Yeah, uh, yep. Let's mug in that. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, fine. Yeah, got Tron. He's mugging to four. Come on, play the game. Uh, let's top it up. No, that's just any problem. It doesn't affect the board, so. No. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and map. Inquisition would be bad there, but this is good. This guarantees our. Uh... Bottom that. Oh, Modo. I should have mind mapped, really. But then again, we only have Worm Colors into cards without black sources, so. Sure thing, buddy. Guess he wants to get in under us. Maybe that's his plan. Ooh. Hmm. Pokemon is best anime. 
I mean, it's the only one I've watched any number of... I've, I've watched quite a few episodes of Cowboy Bebop back in the day. There's some anime that I don't mind. Like the, 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 the big good movies, like Ghost in the Shell and... Um, like Studio Ghibli movies. Guess Vampire Hunter D, if you're going to be like really fucking edgy and listen to like new metal. <laughs> when you're 15. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but he's a vampire hunter. No! Mm. Hey, he's like, come, we need oh, to no, play. That's it, that's it. No, wait. Yeah, we're going to lose his Sanguinate. Yeah, that's okay. We've got Marga. He's the man, man Sanguinate. <laughs> Manguinate. Mar, ma, ma. Traitor on it. Oh, I just got a lingering souls, the value. Oh dear. Well, when we kick this in a minute, and he like, literally shits the bed. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sun Titan chain pod into Elish Norn. Yeah. That's, uh, that's some nastiness. There you go. Get back your uh, thinks. Ugh, all the value. All the value. We'll get back the spike. We'll get back a combo piece. Like, yeah, Finks, I guess, and his combo piece. Yeah. Let's get a tower. I love how some of our lands are whiteboard and some aren't. That's the best yeah. way to play Tron, isn't it? The, in the trolliest way possible. Yes. Tower. No, if we played the Tron lands out correctly, we would have. Uh... But then we'd have Tron and nothing to cast. We're still going to have nothing to cast when we Tron next turn, unless we draw. Another one. There isn't one, I think. I mean, we want to. Ideally, I think we want to draw Worm Call Engine. Like, legitimately, that is our best draw here. Mm -hmm. Two cards in hand, linger ourselves in the bin. He's going to linger himself now, make three dudes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just running Josu out there as is, because it blocks all this nonsense. That's close nice. to flyers. Depending on what we draw, that might be the correct thing to do. Do we gain the life off this? No. No, okay. Let's cast a 4 5 at night for 4. It's basically Siege Runner, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Here's your goif right there. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not even thinking about Urborg. I keep not playing it for some reason. <laughs> because Urborg will allow us to actually play. Shit, if we gone Urborg originally on turn 1, I could like. Another one. Commander Clash has the plot line worthy of a good anime. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to take that for the insult that it, it infers. No, no, that's, that's sick. Mono White Tron is the last frontier. Um, yeah, I guess so. Well, I don't know, actually. Like, Mono Brown Tron. Mono Brown Tron. That exists. Eldrazi Tron, Tron, right? That's a, that's a real thing. <laughs> I guess we're going to thought seize them. Oh, you just next level it and go five color Tron. Get some uh, Fist that, of Suns that, action. That is a thing in Pulpa. Five color Tron is a real thing. I've got someone who keeps asking me to play it. Well, we get to stop the Blood Moon, but the Bolt it seems quite scary here. The Blood Moon seems scary. Nahiri seems scary. Nahiri can really, really kill us. Well, we're going to take two from Spirit, then get Boltwood. Mm -hmm. We're going to get Boltwood here, I think. Well, maybe he keeps the Bolt. Oh, no, maybe he doesn't. He's got yep. a good face, hasn't he? He's like, he's not going round, Juicy. We need to draw an Exanguinate, we need to draw it now. Yeah, because we're dead in two turns. Thank you for the cheer, peace, love, and anal. Mannerless Tron. Well, maybe that is the <laughs> final frontier. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Five color Tron Planeswalkers with Oath of Mist. I think I've tried that. Oath of Mist and Magic and Flatus in the same deck as well. So they can Vanderblast everyone's lands. It did not work. Goblin Belcher Tron. <laughs> oh, get out. He was Evil Geek. That's it. Evil Geek wants me to play uh, five color Tron. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's five damage. Oh, okay. Nope. Don't want to risk it. Exanguinate off the top, guys. Exanguinate off the top. All Torment of Hellfire just to blow up his entire board. Or Black Sun Zenith. Or Black Sun Zenith. There are so many good top decks. I just feel like we're not going to draw them. Go to two. Okay, that's pretty good. 
No, oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> okay, so we can cast and activate, right? I think we can. Um... And then Prey hasn't got a bolt. What the fuck am I doing? Undo. Undo. Let's go to combat and hit him. We know he hasn't got a bolt. We know his last card is... Oh no, he's not here anymore. Stormtron. <laughs> Combining the boogeymen of modern. Well, then you need some humans in there as well. Ah. I don't pop this to his turn, do I? Why? Because it stops him from playing anything else pre combat. Like a random hasty bullshit or something. I doubt he's got any hasty bullshit, but you might have a two mana spell that you can make an elemental out. And then the elemental dies. That is a good point. And I guess this catches Bedlam Reveler. Yeah, the pre combat Bedlam Reveler, anyway. So he might obviously cast it afterwards. So he attacks. Panharmonitron. Now we're talking. That's a deck name I can build top down. Back reverse engineer <laughs> into a thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so the record does include our Baron Glory uh, games. So yes. it's not all Mono Black Tron things. Glory. Oh. <laughs> Just oh, bolt us for God's sake. Molten Four as well. Fuck's sake. Sigh. What a joke. Fine. <sighs> okay, well, back again. Precursor do, do, Golem sounds good with Panama Nomicon, especially if you can, like, sack the Golem itself, right? I yep. do want to do a colourless form where I play Mishra's Replicator and just like replicate off of historic spells until there's like 15 replicators in play. And obviously because of the Tron mana you can replicate off of each one. Yeah, that's how you do it, kids. Um, Keep. Keep, yeah, looks alright. Thought Seize is good. I guess we leave with Thought Seize. Yeah, hold um, oh. Protect our map with it, I guess. Yeah. Alrighty, what have we got? Thought Seize? Collective Brutality. Let's take a Thought Seize for now. Collective Brutality will take Torment or Exanguinate. Probably yep. Torment, I'd imagine. Is Burrell a human? What a fucking Burrell problem. is a human. Feels like he should be an Aetherborn. Feels like he should be. Oh, I don't know. Banned. <laughs> Oh man, if we actually draw lands. We are off to We're never it. gonna draw another land, are we? Oh <laughs> magic, magic, magic. So we're gonna lose Torn of Hellfire, take two damage and probably have a lingering source going in the bin. That's what mm -hmm. I imagine is gonna happen here. Oh no, he's gonna draw the MPZ. Seems good. Yeah. Draw one of the other Ozerlands. Oh no, we did not do that. That is not what we want to see. Let's get a tower. Play tower. Pass turn. Yes. Well, let's try and let, let, let's be on the YouTube video. So this will be a VOD, so you can watch this back if you miss some of it or miss the later parts of it. And yeah, I'll be coming back to Mono Black Tron and Mono White Tron over the coming months. When exactly, I don't know, because I'm going to play some Bridge Vine this week. They've got uh, Bugler in Mono White Taxes to play as well. And that should take us up the release of uh, Ravnica, and then I'll be playing whatever new Ravnica toys we get. Um, have you got the the link to the Tron deck? I have. Let me just grab it. Pass to me, I can put it in chat. Oh, Bugle boys. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming deck list, what char? There you go, Rob. If you copy that as well, you can update people as they come up. But I'll put it into the deck list link after this. Okay. There you go. So that is the Monovectron list we're currently running. Got that there. Da, 
there. Whoppa. Is he a castle lingering souls? What a surprise. To so draw the Tronland doesn't do a whole lot here. Nope. Okay, uh, Thoughtseize does a thing. We're going to lose because I can't draw correctly. <laughs> that is literally what's happening. I thought this matchup shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Um, I could take the Revelers. They haven't been online for a while. Take the Brutality. They cost I think we take the Brutality. Yes. That means he's going to go red, red, and three. He's miles off. Yeah, that's all Brutality. We're going to take five, and then we're not going to draw a land again. If we do draw a land, we play Crypt Ghast. Ah, fucking hell. You need to draw Tron land. I even Tron doesn't do anything. Like, I think I swamp into Tron land's so actually better. So Tron land, Crypt Ghast. Go to four. Yeah, um, stabilize with Torment. Stabilize with Exsanguinate. Ooh. Okay. If we draw Tron next time, we can gain a lot of life. Uh, we know we haven't got a bolt for that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that you're not wrong, Candace Travis. <laughs> you're not fucking wrong. <laughs> I thought well, the, the good Tron cards are the lands, right? And expedition map. So and Snuffy Doll. And Banefire. Oh, of course. Oh man, I feel like we've drawn really fucking badly this game. Um, well, we did alright in the first 25 game. 25 lands, Rob! I know, it's okay. But no, what I'm saying is, a Baron Glory, we kept getting shit hot draws. The deck was just garbage. <laughs> yeah. And now we're playing a deck that is considerably better. Ah, oh, he doesn't want us to trade his elementals in, which is weird. Just the flyers, just... okay. I think in this circumstance, with the Tron looming, I was just fucking. Especially when he knows our hand. Yeah, I would be spraying him with all those. So block okay. There, are we gonna five. are we gonna X him in the face? Get a four. Come on, Tron Land. I believe in you. We can play a Grave Titan here, but we don't. The, the spirits still kill us. Uh, okay, we can exsanguinate, but not for a whole bunch. It's for four, five, six. So four. Just give us a turn, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it, would it be better to torment Torrent? No, because he just takes the damage and discards his hand and kills us. Okay. Exsanguinate away then. So, is it worth me keeping collective up? To, so, Reveler is red, red, one, two, three, four, five. He's one land of, or one spell of, one land of Reveling. The question is do I torment for all but one black man? Is a black man to take away the collective vitality from his graveyard to reduce the chance of him bed leveling into, into fucking firebolts? Lava, but lava, that's gonna kill, if we do that, we die anyway because why is on board stuff's going to kill us? No, 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 because we're going to torment here. So, hang on, how much mana can we make? So, we've got six mana, so we can torment for three, go to seven. I guess we just have another list that doesn't draw a land. Oh, life, oh fuck, what am I doing? Wrong, wrong spell. Woof! Fucking hell. <laughs> I wish I could extort. I'm joking, it does exactly the same thing. There's nothing to matter into Exsanguinate. Yeah. Goodbye, Jungle Fiver. Oh, Jungle Fiver, right, I need to go brew something on my stream. See you later. See you later, Jungle Fiver. Thank you for the cheer, thank you for the subscriptions. You are a beautiful, beautiful bastard. Wall bees. Wow, oh, I'm listening. I want to do Battle of Wits at some point, just combine all the moon decks together. Mono Red Tron, <laughs> bees, horses, walls. I mean, Mono Red Tron and bees, they almost do go together. I know, I know. And once you had horses, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, fucking damn it. I wish we had drawn a Tron land there. Because now he's angry, it doesn't really get us anywhere. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, is there anything we really could do? Tron, 
tribal thick boy journey. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in the Discord who'd like that. In this circumstance here, would I swim with everything or just the spirits? Okay, we need to... So actually, this extort can get, keep us in the game. <laughs> Thought sees us. Okay. Uh, have you ever considered a Splinter Fright style deck? I play Splinter Fright in Caridor, so actually, again, I'll be going for that. I guess he'd be quite good in a Heartless Summoning. Yeah. Mm, if I'm doing a Heartless Maybe. Do you, I really want to play on Burial Rites and like the proper junk mid range decks that I used to play back in uh, Standard. Be there's a good, yeah, there's a half decent modern list that. Plays that sort of thing, sort of like junk value town type stuff. Oh, <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. okay. So I'm interested. Can we do it with the extort as well? Colorless, colorless. Okay. Six do five. so. Do all but one. So we wanted to go one of these because we want to also cast search and extort that as well. Yeah, and we want to so extort. Cast, so. so we want to go. Black, black, and one. Yep. And then click done. Text X is one. Oh, we can't search for Oh, we can search for next time. Done. There you go. So X store, pay one. Okay, I would like to pay one. When do I get to choose? Oh, I can't search for next time, so I'll wait till next time to do that, I think. Uh, so yes. Yes. Okay, and that kills all this shit. I'm gonna surgical his grave out to keep him off revelers because he's now he's still one line off of it. Good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Smashing. Is he off as well? Is he? He is indeed. Got to head to the office. Good luck and may your health be x equals ten. I will try, my friend. I will try to x equals ten people. We can play a grave type next time. I think that would definitely be. Uh, turning a corner. Yeah, I think so. I think we could definitely describe that as. So we're going to get to look at his hand, which I think is two Bedlam Revelers. I don't know what the other card is. So there's one more. Oh, it's three Bedlam Revelers. <sighs> so what we don't want to see is Faithless Living, because if he casts Faithless Living, he can ditch. Two... If he gives Faithless Living, draws two spells, ditch two spells, he can play Bedlam Revelers. Another one. Yeah, which is not what we want. <laughs> That's not what we want to see. So okay. get rid of all the things. That's good. Okay. That one of surgical, it's not meant to do that, but it's doing it anyway. <laughs> I guess that's it might be good. enough. It might be enough. Did the attack for one. Drip. Oh, bollocks, Grobby. Yeah, there's two thoughts as well. Didn't oh, even realise. See that, yeah. I guess collective challenges our life to a little bit more. Okay. Well, yeah, collective can kill us. Thoughtsies collective can. plus bolt would kill us, I guess. That's an argument. Can we draw land? Oh, we can that's map. practically land. Oh, we have to cast Grave Titan here, though. We can't restore it. Wait, hang on, no, can we... No, we can play map, crack it, and... No, not a black. Oh, wait. Maybe it, we, mm, can we? So, two black, play it, plus one, crack it. Go get another land, play it. Two black, and then, plus two, plus... Oh, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Just don't tap too much black. So, this costs three. <laughs> so, this is... That's three, yeah? Yeah. A land, and that'd be six, yeah. Cool. Oh, is Urborg better here than the Tron land? Mm. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, or 2, 4, plus 7. 7, 10. Yeah. It is over time, but not right now. Yeah. Crack it. Get mine to our power plant, I want to I? Yeah, the the white one. <laughs> See, that's why you play the ones with the white borders, so you can identify which ones are which easily. Six. So you guys Three. are correct. You are correct, Dan, whoever just said that about uh, true Boshek. Um The Urbog's better in the long game. Mine is better now, I think. I think so, because because if they blood moon. Then Fuck, I, want to both I think both, well now that you can untap and cast no he's still one off isn't he one two three four five six seven eight oh no he can cast reveler now if he draws double bolt off the reveler then we're dead yeah oh, so no, we need no, 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 he has to tap out for a reveler 
then draws a land plus bolt. Mm -hmm. Again, faith assuming is a problem. Mm. But I think we got away with it. There's the reveler. Discards the other two revelers. Let's think about reveler. They're not very good multiples in hand. No, they're Those not. Three fresh cards. Does he hit a land drop? Yeah, land drop bolt not. would look bad. Yeah. We're gonna pay the okay. spirit and extort it. That means they've got gas. So yeah, we need to. I, I'd like to scale off six if at all possible. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes we can. Cool. So we extort this and Grave Titan. And then that we will... We can't extort Grave Titan as well because we don't need double black to cast him. Oh, uh, we... Because we didn't get Oborg. <laughs> no, no, we can. Because that's black. That's one black, plus one black. Yeah. And then and we the, two off two of the... For Grave Titan. He costs two. Yeah. He costs two black. Oh, sorry, we can't extort both. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Molten Rain. That turns off, that turns off Tron. The Faithless doesn't need them. Oh, yeah, to the Molten Rain. Fuck it. Now let's cast this. No, let's slam in first. Yep. We don't have to sacrifice quick cast, I don't think. I'm going no, to I don't think. be our Black Tron record after this, I think. Yep. I don't think we should either, because if they draw another land destruction spell, we're going to need. And the extort's relevant. Crypt casting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Gisela EDH. Win stuff ago. Reap percussion and board white dice. I used to have a Gisela EDH deck. It was my yeah. favourite. I love that girl. I'm kind of sad that the new ones from the new set were um, not multicoloured. Yeah, but I do. I did. I, I love what they did with them, though, to make them like horrific, like. Oh, monsters yeah. like even the angels get corrupted that sort of thing i think that's even, i like it best with some like signature characters i think if bruno just had like these activated abilities their old colors would have been cool like if jazella had like red to it had fire breathing or something well, that's a bit weird Do you know what no, I mean? some red thing? um red and some number the next permanent does double damage Wonder if you or the next two... next source does double damage or whatever two bolts here that would be pretty that would suck Ooh, he's <laughs> he digging. still can Oh god, don't double bolt me, bro! Don't double bolt me! Oh yeah, if we'd blocked Crit Gust, he would have died. Yes! Oh yeah! We shouldn't have done. But no, no, he didn't. He, he would, it wouldn't have got us. It wouldn't change the clock either, so. Okay, we won a game with it. So I'm going to reset the record now, though. So the record was originally for Torment of Hellfire. The properties button is back as well, which is nice. So yeah. we're now 1 0 with Mono Black. Tron. Just gonna do some updating on the on-screen stuff. Let's go properties. Mono black Tron. I should probably change the deck name on screen so people can go back and forth in the video. If you're watching on YouTube and you just got to this point and you just realised that's a great idea, I should change the deck name in the video so you can find the deck you want to watch more. Um, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. There's, <laughs> there's no way. Well, we can, you can put timers in the um, in I the video. Can, but that takes a lot of effort. Did I just hit end stream by accident? I did not, so I'm not that much of an idiot. Okay, let's. Uh, jump straight into a, a friendly league, and we'll play a couple of games of this to finish off. Um, why is there any, anybody in the 1v1 queues? Let's do that first. No, okay. Let's go leagues. Friendly modern league. I'm sure I've got stuff in my thing. Join league. What was that with? Is that horses? No, I think that's my waist, not one. <laughs> one of Tron, submit. Eight event tickets. This is how you throw away money, kids. Absolutely. So, those who are watching at home, I hope you're enjoying it. The deck list is now available. I think I even put it on my card for Is that that? There is the deck list for Monoblack Tron. This will be a VOD, so if you've missed any of the Baron Glory or the Monoblack Tron, you can watch that back on YouTube. It will probably go up on Wednesday. I've been trying to avoid putting it up the same week, night as Premier League. Stop bringing any more viewers away from that. If you've not subscribed already, click the button above my head to give me Amazon Prime subscriptions or just give a little bit of money to support the channel so I can keep making content, keep streaming, keep making silly videos about uh, Palaka Worm. Um, yeah, all that shit. We're all watching all that this good stuff. Um, no, Robbie, some people might be at work. Some people might be out in a bush outside of home watching you. You know? <laughs> friendly and comp league, the difference. So a friendly league gives you prizes even when you go 1-4. So you get a little bit of your money back. Not much. Um, and it tends to be a slightly less cutthroat. Um, competitive league, if you go go three two or better, you do, you lose all your all your winnings. But 
Come on. Alrighty. Can you I adjust your me? levels, Vince? You're very quiet. And your Skype boy is very loud. It's not Skype. It's Discord. And you it's are Discord. slightly lower. I can turn Rob slightly down. There you go. Turn that me better? back up. But I did that earlier and everyone said it was fine. Another one. Oh, okay. We won a dive We've won a lot of dive wars tonight. Well, Mine yeah. Tower Map. Keep. Got it. <laughs> I mean, we can't cast this because it's double black, triple black. Uh, we probably have to get a swamp with this eventually. Yeah. Um, let's start with mine. Nice play a map. Nothing wrong with beseeching the queen for a swamp. Well, we can read the bones to find it. Fun fact, guys, we use Skype for Commander Clash. Really? Uh, yeah. So, so American. Yeah. So well, American. Well, we do Antiquated technology. All sound is recorded stuff. Oh, it's, it's this. It's, well, it could be Dredge. Oh, um, good job we've got eight graveyard eight cards. Yeah, in the yeah that's true. There's the swamp we wanted. Okay. Sweet. No, no. Well, no, because if we get Tron online, we can't cast anything, we, Bob. Yes, we can. We can cast Beseech the Queen. What, and go find a three drop? Yes. We've got three drop X spells. Or we can just cast Read the Bones. Yeah. And draw two cards, not just one. Like, Beseech doesn't have to be cast on turn three. Assembling Tron is not very good if you don't have anything to do with the Tron, which this deck is probably its primary problem. It probably should just play cards. <laughs> oh, look, what a surprise. Mono black Tron, more like mono black shit. Hey, Mayoff! No need to be so fucking negative. What's this going to be? Collective Vitality. We lose life. Take a card from our hand. Uh, yeah, sh Yeah, not sure. that bothered. Well, I am bothered. I'd rather you take any of our hand. But... This is going to be a tough game one. This is Hollow One, isn't it? None of the other shit. Pawn yeah. Harmonitron. It's fun, Vince. Trust me. I, I, I love the sound of it. So we took the Wrath, understandably. Friendly League's just bit, slightly a bit easier and you get prizes back even when you lose most of your rounds. Not huge amounts of prizes. The prize support on Murder is just bad in general. Much like the rest of Magic, including the Pro Scene. I had a guy on Facebook all arguing me today that I should be thankful that Wizards even do what they do. I'm like, no. They make a lot of fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go Power Plant. Let's go Read the Bones. Read the Bones, yep. Let's go bottom of the thought seas, top of the swamp. Top of the land. Draw a torment of hellfire, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we want to survive, play a grave tile, and then torment him. That is the plan, right? Yes. The devil's own 68 says it was another gang up on Vince. It did feel that way a little bit. Richard doesn't gang up on me, to be fair. Richard just plays a very conservative, don't um, get noticed and kill everyone game plan. Um, Toma and Seth have very weird threat assessment, which normally involves me being the threat, no matter whether I'm miles ahead or miles behind. <laughs> it was that one game where I played the Rafik deck, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, you, you shook them up. But it was the same with um, with, with uh, Jennifer as well. Like, she played, like, spiky aggro decks, and then they just, like, just pinned her down for the rest of the season, just on the off chance that she'll go off. Yeah. So I'll get there eventually, I'll get there eventually. Right, so what do we want to draw here? That's not bad. So what can we do? Can we tap? So we tower, we have seven, eight mana. Four of it for this. Four of it for this? No, it doesn't work. Um, 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 um. I think it's script cast. It's definitely script cast, isn't it? And then yeah. we just extort a Grave Titan next turn. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go like, Urzaland, and they're going to be like, oh crap, here it comes, and then we just go, crap, yeah. Should we hide the Urzaland? That's what I think we should do. I mean, he's clicked with the to hand, so he knows it's there. So... Yeah, he knows well. it's there, doesn't he? Can we beseech the Queen up a bit? No, because... So it's green six mana with no black, and we only got four. But it does mean we're better to get in a, a set up a line where we can like beseech for exsanguinate and exsanguinate them sort of thing. 
What are your thoughts on Turbo Fog and Modern? Um, if uh, I don't know, it feels too much like turns to me. Yeah, I think you're better off playing turns. Oh, my Grave Titan. Oh no, that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, uh, what did we just? Oh, we just got our Grave Titan. Oh, for fucking hell's sake. Oh dear. Okay, we're just gonna pair a tower. I oh, know we didn't. We oh, we just got the swamp. Okay, we got no block. Phew! I thought we'd have no double black and just lose. <laughs> okay, what? So can we? Can we set up a turn next time? We beseech for black suns. Another one. Black suns are shit away. Ah, oh, fucking! I'll get hit for six here. Yep. Which takes us to six, so land kills us. Mhm. Mm it's a good thing Stoneforge Mystic is banned. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. So we can. What? What are non-double black spells in our deck? It's just fucking read the bones and crit cast. Yep. Big okay. sanguine. <laughs> no, that's double black. We can't cast that here. If I try to proceed with the extra Urza mana. Hmm. So we can we can we can make seven mana, beseech. Beseech to go. Beseech is six mana, and then we go and get black suns for six mana, and then we go black suns for one, and probably die. Yeah, we'll die because there will the vampires come back. If he has a land, which he might not have. We can black suns, we can't black suns for enough. If you play Urbot, can we black suns for enough? Just Hailfire. No, because Hailfire doesn't do anything. Hailfire, he Seven. will pitch his, la pitch his land and then take, what, 3, 6, 9, 12 damage and kill us. YOLO. Oh, man. That, not being able to play Grave Titan here is fucking ball-breaking. Mm-hmm. Oh, Burning Increase, such a fun and interactive magic card, isn't it? <laughs> I think we beseech Black Sun Zenith. For one, and hope it gets us there. Yeah, yeah, hope he hasn't got a land, that's all we can do, really. And to build four Baloff, four Steel Leaf, four Locks on my uh, get them in pretty wins. <laughs> yeah. This feels fucking dreadful. Yep. There really isn't anything else we can do. God, I wish we could empty the pits, but we can't. Well, if we empty his board, and he has nothing to bring his blood guard... Let's say he has got a land in hand, right? He doesn't draw away the loot into it. There's a good chance he does very little damage here. Then we might be able to just torment him to death with his tower in hand. That's the idea. <laughs> <sighs> Cycle. Not dead yet. It's two damage still. <laughs> oh fuck off! Of course he does. Of course he does. The thing is that the graveyard hate's not even that good because Holy One and fucking thingy still exist. Let's uh, bring it. Leyline's good though. I think our whole sideboard comes in. <laughs> we might not bring okay. in three surgicals as well. It seems a bit excessive. So cut empty the pits. That's the first cut because we're not going to be delving anytime soon. Well, this doesn't get rid of our graveyard any theirs. Hmm. I think we keep in Marga because it can't be collected brutality. Cut Sorin. Yeah. That's 70 cards. Thought seizes that stuff. Yeah. Have you heard of Turbo Fucking Stand with the four times the buy box promo? Unfortunately, I have. Unfortunately, we are aware that's a thing. They always have it again since so Philbert Hex. Yeah, I don't know. Like he had a lot of chances to have a land there. He was pretty favoured to to have it. Yeah, 
but I think that was definitely our best line. But I couldn't think it's the best way to go about doing that. Fair. What do you think about buy box promo, Sam? Oh, I need to stop being fucking exclusive stuff. It's obscene. Actually, if we're glaring, we probably do need those. Like the Can't fact that uh, these artificially fucking um, like inflated uh, rarity cards is just a, it's just it's just dumb. It's just so unbelievably dumb. Such a stupid idea in the first place. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't have wizards at all because well, once you game store is the idea, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I mean, even so, like now it now it's a card that is, has that has value, right? But who has got those cards? Secondary market. Like it doesn't have wizards at all. Firstly, in their reason, uh, in their rationale, is that uh, there is no secondary market, Rob. So exactly. Uh, Haha, got you there, Rob. <laughs> got you there. Like yes, yeah, so they don't benefit by having a card that no one can get access to. Be no, it's meant to, it's meant to increase box sales, increase product sales, and help local game stores. That's what it's meant to do. My argument would be if that was on Tony Art Crucible of Worlds, it would have done the exact same thing. We wouldn't have fucking artificially inflated, expensive rares go more than we need in standard. Like on one moment they're reducing the cost of standard by putting invocations in the fucking box to bring the price down of all the other cards. Next minute they're like, here's a card that honestly we won't make a broken one. Oh, whoops, we made a broken one. Now it's like forty bucks or whatever. Like, fuck <laughs> off. Come on, wizards. Try and ma manage standard in a way that isn't completely utterly like, fucking backward. Um. Maybe, I mean, procedures are just too slow for this matchup. I mean, we just want to draw the actual gas. Yeah. Deck. Wakao. Tron and a worm call engine. And a soap. Seems good. Keep. Keep all day long. Yeah, can you imagine that? Next buy box for Ravnica is a fucking Savannah, and you're like, what? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> got you guys, got you. No, no, it'll be like everyone. Everyone pre-orders all the boxes anyway because Nexus did so well. But it will just be some piece of absolute turd. Chaos so sort of, we're not being legacy tonight, I'm afraid. Uh, probably back to legacy next week for a stream, I'd imagine. See you later, Phil, but next. Thank you for the cheer and bits. We'll catch the rest of them on YouTube. Don't get wrecked. We always get wrecked. Ah, uh, I love it. There you go, guys. Got wrecked. <laughs> Might take the surgical. Ah, oh, fuck! No, he doesn't take the surgical. How are we meant to beat this deck when we can't do anything? Because if we draw another worm call engine, I'll just draw a swamp, we're fine. No, of course not. It's my fault for keeping a hand where it was really bad to thought season and considered it. We still have Tron, we can easily top deck gas. No, we can't, because this deck's gas is all double black. <laughs> it's the what does he face us, Lulu? Flame Ink Phoenix and Blood Gust, of course. Do we not want to surgical those things? Um, probably in response to triggers more so than anything else. Like, can't play now. Like, because he need to discuss another one next turn. Like, there's no reason not. To, there's no reason to do it now because we're not using black or anything. Just take it. But why? Why would you do it earlier? Why would you do it later? Because then you get more chance to get more things. There's there's no but, benefit to doing it early. Yeah, but you don't you take all the things anyway. Oh yeah, sure. You get out of the library, but I'm saying like if he is all in on a plot. Well, he knows about scavenging news already anyway, doesn't he? Uh, scavenging news, so it's now anyway. Um. No, we'd still rather he's like faithfully looting into them or got them in hand and draw steps. So you better like you're better to do it and draw step, or you're better to do it after looting. Okay. Because then you're you're getting more of his actual virtual card advantage in a way. Well, you, if you're getting out of the library, it's not so good. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, you want you want to take away the virtual card advantage as opposed to just taking it out of his uh, of his library. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That you need to not f six through his turn and miss it as well. That's also a key. Definitely. Do we want to play Inquisition here? Yeah, because he might have one of the things you want to get right. <laughs> Also gives us information. There you go. Ugh. Oh, well, oh fuck! Did you? Oh fuck's sake! What am I doing? I'm literally <laughs> thinking. I'm literally thinking to myself. I'm gonna take that anyway with the surgical. I just clicked it. You took the fame with Phoenix. Yeah, I should have clicked the fucking ah oh, bollocks. You can, well, you can take the fame. The fame is now his graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's uh, sake! I'm literally uh, just thinking, yeah. don't need to take that. 
It's cold. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Yep. Match up's hard enough for that punch. Right, okay. Let's go and someone subscribe for that. Thanks, Joe Quiznos. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's our first real punt of the night, I think. Yeah, that's true. You might still call the bug guff anyway. Yeah. Yeah, like there was the arguments we just made in chat that we don't want to do it in response to a fetch line because they can cut the fetch line and get a second trigger to get the bug guff back again. <sighs> so. I think I'm taking the phoenixes either way. Wait, isn't he got one red source? What's his hand again? Okay, but he's still going to hit us for six. No, I'm trying to think whether we take the bloodguards or the phoenixes. Or, or the phoenixes. That's, that's the discussion point. Uh. Yeah, he's only got one mana source for the flame wakes. They fly, though. Our grave titans and our worm claws can't block them. Yeah, I'm going to draw stuff and just take the bug on um, the uh, block flame wakes. We, can, we may as well wait if we take the flame wakes. We may as not wait if we're taking the blood ghast, I think is mm -hmm. the. Well, then again, if he plays a non fetch land, we still have the option to go for the blood ghast. Oh, surge click searching. Why are you so hard? Yeah, lots, <laughs> lots of intricacies going on here. Take the blood ghast so your opponent doesn't think you're dumb, says Captain Waffles. That is probably the line, actually. Oh, our opponent's thinking long and hard about whether he lets us pass priority here. Does he know about the surgical? 100%. Yes. Cycle. Oh, I've got to stop on our own draw step. That's fucking stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, sure. What do you think of the Brazilian pro player who was on Legacy DNT yesterday? Apparently, he had a history of cheating. Seems strange. What's he letting play on the pro tour? There seems a lot of this sort of shit going on, isn't there? There like, it is. Um, yeah. So you know, um, Burton Boncini, Bonchiti, whatever the fuck his name was, was on the pro tour this year. He's off his suspension and is now bronze level pro. Well. Burton, Genie, and then Fabrizio's yeah. back as well. Like Fabrizio, I can imagine you know, given chance to be a reform person, right? And people say like he was never malicious about what he was doing, supposedly. Yeah, but he was Burton just... Senior, as far as I understand it, used to fucking gloat about cheating. That's what I've been told. I don't know exactly where the evidence is. Oh fucking Gurmag. We can talk about so much gas here though. Yeah, the biggest cheater in magic history. The one who's got the big... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no, we, that, we knew that was happening. Which Brazilian player was it? Let's go the history of cheating. There was, there was one interesting bit I saw in the Pro Tour which just made me fucking laugh, where basically one of the guys molds the six in, the st in standard, and he keeps a one-lander. Yeah. His hand is like one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, mm -hmm. and a land. Keeps a one-lander, which I would never in a million years really do, right? So maybe I'm not yeah. pro. He proceeds <laughs> to, by turn five, curve into Glorybringer. Because he draws what? four lands in a row. This is in the semi-finals. It, um, it was like a... Is the mono red or red black mirror? Mm -hmm. And I was just like... And even his opponent looked a little bit pissed off. I mean, I guess the, the thing is, like, you don't want to be... Like, maybe you lose more percentage by going to six cards in that specific matchup. Because it's all about card advantage, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is that. I just know for a fact that I, I would never achieve that. And that's why I'd never be a pro. I would never, ever be able to curve out like that. Especially like under the pressure and all that sort of shit. You know, it will the bad cards at the top, right? The deck listens to the room and gives you what it needs. Uh-huh. If cheating is allowed, you can make it Vince Follow Dreams. I can't. I'm fucking... I'm just, like, absolutely and utterly opposed to the idea of cheating. So, nope, I can't. Okay, we need to draw Damnation. Do we? And then have him never draw land again. Faith is looting. Cantus Tropus, I definitely believe in redemption. 
He says, I believe in redemption. We don't know for sure whether he's not changed his ways, and surely we should presume the worst for that evidence. I agree. For the majority of cheaters, I would give them a second chance. For the majority of like, most transformations, I'd give a second chance. But if you've done yeah, it but Burn times, yeah, but Burn Cheney did it more than twice. Burn Cheaty, yeah, he's done it more than twice. Uh, twice that he's been caught. Other accounts that he didn't get caught, but other people saw it, and like a documented video evidence of one of them. Supposedly gloats about it as well. Thank you for the subscription, Unicycle Warrior. Yes. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that name? Oh. More for occasion. Yeah, it exactly. Is, yeah, that's it is three strikes and you're out, but Burton seems to have been officially caught twice. So. Any amount of time till he's out. Oh, <laughs> no. We can start blocking, I guess. You can play it, extort it, go to four, double block. Not dead, dead. <laughs> nah, we're dead. Fuck this. Because we don't even block back. <laughs> we block both of these, we can't even cast any other spell on our deck. The only spell we can cast is Silent Blood that kills us. That's not Silent Blood. Um, Read the Bones that kills us, so Quick Blaster does nothing. So this deck, I think this deck has legs. The problem is that you can't cast any of the spells of actual Tron assembled. So the great thing about Mono Red Tron that we always try to keep in was that Goggles, um, Banefire, Chandra, and Sluffy Doll were all castable off of actual Tron. Because mm -hmm. you just needed one red mana. Yeah. So this deck really needs Urborg. So you, you need two It really two needs extra. Urborg. It also needs threats that aren't double black. Unfortunately, the memeiest, most exciting cards are double or triple black. Yeah. So maybe we need to go like heavier on the tutors in order to get what we need. Perhaps. And like, perhaps. Like, on the, or just to play like eight tutors and then one of each of the awesome well, there's no other Mimi tutor cards. We can play. There's no other tutor we can play that isn't done black. No, I mean we could play Increasing Ambition as a single black. Is, well, then, then we're getting Tron Online to then begin tutoring. Um, come on. I don't know. One more land and we got this. No. We're on the draw, Rob. Yes! Unicycle Warrior, uh, you, you love the content, by the way, but you just find it difficult to catch the stream from the States. Hmm, so you mean Khan works in a Tron set, shall Yes. So actually, I think one of that Tron might be, like, eight copies of Khan. <laughs> and then you just play all these fucking wicked double black spells, like, like this, this, and Tron and Hellfire. And you can't just store the game out, right? There you go, never didn't have it. I guess so. Bye, Ralph. Oh, Ralph! Fuck off! But bye, and thanks for coming. <laughs> Let's look what we're playing against. It appears Skip to be shift. Boggles with no creature. Well, it has a creature, but he's not going to have it for much longer. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear, okay, Boggles. We win. This is what I love about no, Boggles. No, 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 he'll top deck a Boggle. This is what happens. When everyone thought he's a Boggle player and turned one took the one Boggle, they always top deck the Glade Cover Scout or vice versa. <laughs> Please. Adding prophetic prisms for the double black. That is a good idea. Maybe that is what we do. Chromatic Star can help as well, guys. Don't forget. Yeah. That is a thing that Tron decks play for a reason. So yeah. Maybe. Star Compass. There you go, guys. He went for the Dryad Arbor line. Okay. So, on the upside, this Black Sun Zenith is going to be pretty good. All the Black Sun Zeniths are going to be good. So, if you've got an Umbra and you get minus one, minus one. It dies oh. as a state based effect, it is not yes. destroyed. Precisely. But it's got it's now a four four. Okay, so we need to get Tron in order to black Sun Zenith to death. <laughs> yep. This is like okay. a repeat of what happened to me when I played what was I playing recently with Thought Seasons in it? It might be the I oh, was the boggles match I didn't put into the video with uh Waste Star. I ah. took his boggle, then she went and got a dried arb and I was like, oh, Wow, okay. I can combo. I can combo. I don't combo. So this is now a 7-7 seven, seven, or is it an 8-8? Eight, eight? Oh no, it's not. It's not another... Uh, he didn't play the... Oh, okay. He does play the other Aether Arama. Because he's also drawn the perfect mana as well. That is significantly worse than I would like it to be. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe he kept the fucking one creature hand as being rewarded. Okay. Sure. Just bubble things, right? Well, we shouldn't be playing a deck with, like, big... What we should be doing is playing a deck with a much faster re like game plan in Modern. Like, mm -hmm. the interaction is so shit in Modern compared to Legacy that you can't play, like, reactive answers and threats and stuff like this. You have to, you have to be... 
uh, the proactive player. So you have to make the big boggle or storm off on turn three and kill people. Yeah. And for some reason, other than perhaps damaging the diversity of like um, actual fair decks, Stoneforge Mystic's not okay in this situation. And the thing is, I'm keeping the joke about it. Maybe it would be bad because they would have loads of unfair decks and Stoneforge decks, and not much else. But that's that true. Was, I, just um... I just don't buy the argument that it, um, it limits design space because they haven't printed good equipment in donkey's years. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, it's bollocks. No, yeah, that pod... argument always. I don't think that argument works, really yeah. defines why pod. I don't agree with pod being gone either. To be fair. Mm. Well, I mean, and but uh, to go back to your previous comment, uh, this is why I stopped playing um, Emiria Sun Titan deck because and why I stopped playing Orange Sisters because it just doesn't do enough soon mm. enough to make an impact it's, it's why like if I wanted to go play modern I want to play in tournament or whenever I play a league I always play goblins because it's an aggressive deck that does things by turn three you know? yeah yeah exactly exactly don't forget to hydrate I do need to hydrate I do need to hydrate turn two Stormcrow we are done with one we're now playing one. Long Black Tron Oh, did you see the Stormcrow on the 25th anniversary play? No, was it one All of the great, It was like a montage of greatest cards in Magic. So I had like Power 9, Force of and stuff, and in the bottom left corner, there's a Stormcrow. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's the, the meme that just won't die. Uh, it's, it's not... Oh. Mm. Does the stuff. It doesn't do anything. I don't think this is really cute, but... Right. Yeah, actually, if we do nothing to turn three, and that turn three play is read the bones, that's bad into boggle. It's more to six. Does hand have boggle? No. Mulligan. <laughs> that says his last hand worked out fine, didn't it? Leyline, sure. We should have... Oh, I should have preempted this and took out my hand disruption. <sighs> didn't think about that, did we? No. I should have done, though. It was like, very obvious that, that was coming in. Or even main board. Yeah, a lot of boggles do main board it, don't they? Yep. As we're going to find out. Let's get Stormcrow banned in. More done. <laughs> Very good. Well, Stormcrow is just a shit Stormcrow half the time. You can cast the Inquisition. No, because he has his own Sanctity team play, so unless we Inquisition ourselves. My bad. And discard I'll read the bones. Okay, how good can his hand be when he had a lid on the bubble, right? Are you ready for the ethereal armor today, Brick Coronet? Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> the one thing I do like about boggles is that the games never take very long. Uh, they've had, some of my longest games in modern have been boggles versus DMT. So there's like 12 12s <laughs> in play and 9 D and, uh, fucking spicer tokens and. Oh yeah, so you've got like 14 damage worth of first strike and they can't uh, swing into you, yeah. This is protection from creatures, isn't it? No, it's first strike. We're good, we're good. So we're casting a quick glass next turn, blocking with it. Then we're casting a quick glass and blocking with it. And then hopefully, hopefully casting a grave titan if we curve into it. Do you know, I, don't, I don't play enough Pauper. I should play more Pauper. I do like Pauper. There's a lot of decks that I enjoy playing. There's a lot of interaction as well, so it feels a lot like Legacy. Well, I say that, apart from when I play Reality Acid, I tend to get plays against fucking Elves and Age of Affinity. I don't, know, I don't like I, I don't like the ubiquity of Delver in Pauper. There's a lot of so many Delver decks. Yeah, but I think Delver decks are good for formats because they keep formats honest and interactive. Um, uh, yeah, that's better than another enchantment. Yep. Hopefully his hand is just like th two more core spirit dancers. <laughs> okay, so Black Suns doesn't get us there. We have to play Quick Gas and Block with it. Or we play Josie Vest and Block. I think we're better throwing this away than Josie Vest, right? Considering we're about to table Tron as well. Fair point. So we might end up with enough zombies to block down this fucking slippery boggle. <laughs> or we won't, because we have to have at least seven power. Well, how many does he make? 13 power? No, what is it? 8-2-2-16. And himself. And himself, that is true. So no protections, no trample, no flight. Okay. That's, That's not protection. trample, protection, or flight. Oh, oh he's putting it on the... Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, no more. That's it, right? Diversifying the we threat. Survive. We survive. 
kind of... In they come. And we block. Okay, we need we to draw Black Sun Zenith. Because we cast it for seven, it kills this, this dies, it was effect, this dies. Our only out is Black Sun Zenith. One time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can, can we can we make Josu vest big here? No, it's triple black. Are you are you seeing a theme with this deck, Rob? Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't think Josu vest should be in the deck. I don't think Margaret should be in the deck because the triple black is just unplayable. Yeah. Oh, I knew what we needed. We didn't get it. Can we play Cryptgast and an Inquisition and somehow extort, which somehow kills all his creatures? No. No, no, that's not how that works, is it? Okay, we can Crypt Ghast and then play Joseph S and then hopefully draw Black Sun Zenith. We can do that. Yeah, that we can do. I think we can do that. Yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do. Our oh, Prismatic Mystery Sort as well. That's why we don't snap concede most of the time. <laughs> Always got to play to your outs. Doesn't matter, go. <laughs> yeah, empty the pits. Also a bit of a stretch. Yes, and the pitch should not be in deck either. Like I said the deck definitely has legs. I just think anything with more than two black pips is unplayable. We also need curve fillers that are not double black. So I think Solemn is probably very good. Yeah, it Solemn gets is the really second good. Black source. Any of the um, mana rocks are good. Like yeah, the, the, spe the two the mind stones good. Mana calm, plus the plus the, uh, the the spheres, then just some cool black wing cons. Decker's legs but no feet. That is exactly <laughs> it. And no kneecaps. <laughs> yeah. So it's just stilts, just like, tunk, 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 like through the swamps. Yeah. Oh, the deck's like the, the, the guy in Looper where they start cutting bits off of him in the past and in the present where his like, foot disappears. <laughs> crashes the car and he's like walking along, he just falls over. Why don't Body we scrap parts. this version and build a new one, our smell core? Because we're in a league. Oh, and this was built by one of our beloved patrons. Never rewarded. Never rewarded. Yeah, this is built by someone that I, I, I promised I would play decks in the Brewmaster Challenge. So here we are. Right. Let's give it one more shot. Here we go. Why would Prism be better than Stars or Spheres? Because Stars and Spheres replace themselves. And um, Well, uh, Prism only is, it's got Star, it's got Sunburst. So you have to use Colour Man to make it work. No, I think you're thinking of the wrong one. I think I'm thinking Pinted of the wrong one. Pinted Prism. No, no, Prismatic Prism. Oh, Prismatic Prism. So you draw a card, and then you can make... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That might actually work. Prophetic Prism. Also, when you search Prismatic Prism, guys, you also get... Um, Prophetic Prism. Katy Perry Prism Tracks. With this, this, is the, this is the image I saw on Google Image Tracks. Like, what? <laughs> it's, it's Katy Perry uh, in her Ajani cosplay. <laughs> Is she a pineapple in that picture? Oh no, it's probably a palm tree. Um, I better not click into those plus those things because I'll get copyright struck. Popotron plays it. Yeah. Flame tendrils upon his last reckoning. I mean, flame tendrils wouldn't have done much in that matchup, but it would have been good against Mardu. It's flame tendrils squire as well. Was that drowning filth? No, uh, no, that's drowning sorrow. Drowning sorrow. That's it. We take that picture of Katy Perry in the cat outfit, put it on a couch, put five of Johnny's behind it. Yes, that, <laughs> that definitely is one hell of a fucking meme you've got there, Robbie. Go forth, oh, photoshoppers. Major, we're playing mono black Tron and we're establishing that there needs to be a lot more um, threats we can actually cast with Tron Manor. Um, I think Khan and Solemn being options. Being the problem. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's not great. We've got things to do. The guy's but mulliganed. We're, we're on the draw. Lich's mastery. Ugh, please. Yeah, I agree with that, Alano. You want to consistently make extra blacks, don't you? Yeah. Oh, look, it's humans. So we play so many wraths, we shouldn't lose to this. He says, losing to this. I feel that we're going to lose to this. Okay, we've got a lot of hand options. That's pretty good. That's true. The options they are oh, there. Oh wow! It's not your conventional humans, kids. It's bugling. 
It's the Beagle Boys. I just went for full meme, not actual good cards, Vince. No, a lot of the cards are good, my gen. The problem is we can't cast them. <laughs> Some of those cards are incredibly good. We just cannot cast them. That was a pretty good top deck from him. Yes, top deck of failure. That was a actually I guess Frost has a frustratingly fucking fucking new fuck fuck. Yeah. I have to play the map here. Knowing that his hand is pretty garbage. Hey. Our opponent thinks that uh, we're going to fetch an herbal with this, or a Cabal Stronghold. Isn't Bob just better than Bugler in humans? I guess so. The Bugler's has the advantage of like, toolbox fixing stuff, like finding the Meddling Mage when you need it and stuff like that, I guess. But, yeah, Bob probably is better, especially if you're not exactly planning to play the long game, right? Well... I'd be... No, we can't... We can, but it costs us lots of life. Yeah, as I say, it costs us lots of life to do. We still can. The... We still can. Do we scrap another black sauce here? No, we've got herb box. All of them are black sauces on the upside. Uh, I guess we do have to kill this, right? I think. Yeah. And we. Oh, what about? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a turn ahead. Ah. Uh. Dope. So I'm thinking that we have more mana than we actually do. Um, it's not season worth it here, no, because we don't have double mana. I keep thinking we've got. Fuck you, Cryptgast. I keep thinking <laughs> these swamps are making double back already. Get that out of the hand and onto the battlefield where you belong. Yeah, reveal Cryptgast to give all swamps extra mana. Bugler definitely can with. I haven't got to play a Bugler. Like, I will be playing some Bugler soon. Mm -hmm. Hydrate or dehydrate, Vince. Yes. Well, we might be coming to, towards the end of the stream. It might be a shorter three-hour one tonight, because this deck needs refinement. It's not refining it live. Oh, no! Do you fire it off now? We cannot, because we still don't have the two mana that I think we got. We can pay four life and one mana from the tower, and we still can't play for five attacks. Ah. Uh. So what we need to do is draw another land, play Crypt Gas, take some damage, then draw... Black Sun Zenith. That is the theme of the night as well. <laughs> it's draw Black Sun Zenith. Don't forget, Bugler's got is a 2 3 with Vigilance as well, which is considerably better than. Um... Oh, we're going to die to our own fucking lands again. How can we play 25 lands that's fucked on mana constantly? That's a challenge, but we managed to pull it off every time. We can't time. even cast this triple black because of fucking Thalia. She is <laughs> betraying me. Sake. So he's not playing mono white tron. Is that what it is? Yeah, you've, you've gone black. She doesn't think you're coming back. We can't well, look at that. <laughs> okay, we died so... without doing almost anything. That was perfect. Because our 25 land mana base is apparently not good enough. Damnations. Yeah, at least his meddling majors would be very confused by what we're playing. Yeah, empty. Warren's out. And Pitts rather. Marga out. Hmm. Maybe trim some disruption? Hand disruption? Oh, actually the card draw, yeah, that's good. I think hand disruption is pretty good, haven't you? Yeah. It keeps all land to hand, top decks, gas constantly. Exactly. That's what the opponent did, wasn't it? Oh, no, but the opponent was playing like a 17 land deck or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, that's opening. true, to be fair to them. We've drawn the combo pieces in fucking Bowing Glory, but we can't just draw fucking a collection of swamps, lands, <laughs> and black spells to cast. We could beseech through Thalia, because Thalia, I don't know if you guys have noticed, makes spells cost more mana. Joe. Beseech costs three. Fraction obliterator, fuck me. Let's play first. Right, what we got? Wow, okay, okay. I mean, this okay. seems good. We have no way to stop his creatures before we blow the world up. So if he goes like Thalia, then Medley Major Damnation. Then uh, we're fucked. <laughs> no, because we draw a full plan, play this, and then eventually pop it. So that it's is true. our plan. That is, we don't die beforehand, but. 
Alrighty, let's give it a go. Another one. <laughs> okay, we've got the herb walk, so we don't get, we get, don't get punished for doing this, yeah. unless you randomly cast burning inquiry, um, <laughs> which would, yeah, that would tilt me. Human hollow one humans would be a pretty interesting deck, wouldn't it? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Oh, for some reason in my head, I thought this was as a raid trigger, but it's not. No. Um, thank you ever so much, Jefferson McCourtney, for the Twitch Prime subscription. You beautiful, beautiful man, or woman, or bear, or, or llama, or whatever you are. Thank you. The worst thing about humans is going to keep putting into that as humans in every set because, of course, humans are in every set. Yep. Yeah, so for that, for the, by that logic, much like with Pod and Stoneforge Mystic, they should ban all humans. Because they just get better with extra ones. Well, they actually ban all uh, arc bound creatures. Yeah, humans is kind of an issue, isn't it? They've got. I guess they could ban Thali's attempt if the deck ever got too out of control. Um, I don't know. Just ban um, cabinet souls. Yeah, but that's pretty unfair. All the other decks I want to play it, right? Okay, ban ancient ziggurat. Yes. Just kneecap their mana base, force them into narrower options. Although, I suppose if you did do that, you'd just play banned humans, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean... I, mean, oh, I suppose the freebooter yeah. is pretty good. I don't think we want either of these, do we? No. Let's just bottom this, top this, because we can play it next turn. We'll try and get into overextend, don't we? We don't want damnation yet. But he's, well, he's seen our hand with freebooter, so now he gets to medically manage damnation anyway. That's true. This, kids, is the deck list. So ideally we want an Inquisition to find his meddling mage. Okay, another vial. It's a very late vial. We must have just draw that. Meddling mage on damnation. No? Okay, we're good. We're good for a little while. Cool. Yeah, this does seem like the bit around the deck which the deck like sort of grew up from. So this is probably the, bit, the best card to ban to neuter just this deck and not another deck. If it needs a ban, which at the moment it doesn't. It doesn't need a ban at the moment. No. We, are, we as a community are so ban happy, it's unbelievable. Um, so we can and do... reflective mage. <laughs> Who would do a thing like that? We can damnation now. I was thinking about whether or not it's worth damnationing now. Because if we do, then we get a Oblivion Stone back, don't we? Yeah, but they just play the free boot and next turn, and then we're no further. Well, think... Inquisition map then. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Interesting. Okay, take the bugler. At least we're gonna have big sanguinates now as well, right? Yeah. I'm hoping the reflective mages are like grave type at some point in this game. The semi decks that are ban worthy, nothing is ban worthy. That's the problem. Yeah, that, that's fair, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, that was because why the pros hated it so much, wasn't it? Because they couldn't sideboard in properly. You know, it wasn't a skill testing for It's not overcommitting to this damnation. That is interesting. But I guess we have Tron now to damnation, then actually play a damnation. Uh, play um, our stone out. Mm -hmm. uh, end step. Let's go and get a tower. Play the tower. Damnation. Kaboom boom. Play the stone off the tower. Yep. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. There you go. There we go. That's how you beat humans, guys. Yep. So Just having lots of wraths. Multiple board wipes. Yeah, let's run it back. Because yeah, what we can do there, we can actually then map and off the black source of the Urborg Inquisition yeah. is hand for the other Bugler to give him no card advantage. I played against humans when I was playing Blue White Emiria and they went uh, name 
a medley mage name supreme verdict then they went medley mage name um day of, day of judgment yeah and then i went mm, detention sphere <laughs> that's pretty good that was a good line um there's some good cards like here but doesn't go anywhere i don't know it's not uh, we we, okay, we need lands obviously we're not gonna oh. draw them oh we know our oh, 25 blind deck <laughs> didn't happen last time did it but we've got early game interaction I mean, we do nothing to... Turn. Yeah, we're on the draw, let's keep it. And if it goes horribly wrong, I can blame you. Absolutely, there you go. I mean, they could just take out that motion if you just curve to grow to him. It only just six turns to get there, though, right? Yep. No, we can't counter this. No! It's so noble, I can't noble. stand it. <laughs> Land. Land. Yes. Yes, okay. Vindicated. I see a handful of lands. Come on. Oh, not far off. Well, take the middle image and love life. Yes. If we beat humans, this is confirmed to be the second best Tron variant of all time. <laughs> oh, and Chris, welcome to the chat. I've just noticed you here to say, Wrath me, Daddy. Which is my favourite way to ask to be wrathed. Uh, so, H2 got us gone, and we know that was the non foil, so this is the non foil. This is a foil. Only drew Aether Vial. Let's do a canopy in hand. Tax us for one. Not bad. I do want to try playing Big Black Mana in uh, Legacy now that I've tried Stompy with it. Play Lake of the Dead and play Grave Titans and shit. You just want to like, reanimate at some point now, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's all. I mean, isn't that just what the deck is? I mean, you've got Grizzle Brand anyway. Yeah. And rituals and shit. Is Sundering Titan good when their lands are also swamps? That is interesting. That's. Mm -hmm. This deck should play. Oh, I'm going to call the bonus then. I don't know about that, mate. Mm. Oh, does he have another one? Oh my god! Perfect draw! Oh my god! Oh my god. Just draw one more land, guys, and we're we're home free. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Come on. There's only twenty two more of them in a fifty card deck. We have we're nearing on fifty fifty percent chance to draw every single time. <laughs> Another one. Thank you for all the follows, boys and girls, including you, Jess Guy Boy. I see you. I see yep. you. If you want to send a deck list events, send it to him on Twitter. Yes, you can send a deck list to me on Twitter. The chance of you playing if you're not a patron or not donating though is pretty slim, if I'm completely honest, because I've got a lot of requests. Mantis Rider. Oh dear. Oh god, stop drawing good cards. Right. One time land. Please, Magic Gods, just give me this. I smell a self-respect. Oh, for fuck's sake, on a bike. <laughs> Jesus Christ, literally on a bicycle, riding through <laughs> Bethlehem. He's back for a fucking tour of his hometown. They just cut my nose and my nail, and I didn't... <sighs> oh, dear. How is this possible? Because of the way the shuffler works. Because of how magic is designed, it's that <laughs> no matter how many lands you put in your deck, Vince will not fucking draw them. Thank you, Matt Dude, for calming me down with your Twitch Prime subscription. Send him love, he's upset. <laughs> Anyone else want a sub to make me feel better? You can click the button above my head now. You okay, babe? Another one. Okay. Well, we're fucked. That's not even 50p territory, guys. We just got ruined by our own mana base. It's frustrating as well because it's not even like it's the problem that we're aware of that we can't cast the fucking triple blacks and double blacks. We just can't cast a four mana spell because we haven't drawn four lands. <laughs> uh, you so can close. play lands and not draw a land. Yes. Yes. Well, good job, humans. That was an incredibly skill intensive matchup, I find. Absolutely. We would just ruffle stomp them if we just draw on the fucking damnation mana. Oh <laughs> well. Right, that is that done with. This it was a fun deck. There's some easy yep. ways to improve it. Definitely. Um, we just need to 
work on it. We will so, come back to this another time. Indeed we will. Indeed we so, will. Do you have any we... closing thoughts, Rob, before we start reading? Um, no. <laughs> In a word. Um, I think our decks, the decks were good. Baron Grow was hilarious. And actually being able to pull it off, I think, was amazing. Yeah, I had quite um, a bit of fun playing that, to be fair. And I can definitely see us coming back to this with a little bit more of a cohesive plan. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it was wicked. I enjoyed that a lot. Right. Let's go invade. I think we're going to invade Julian. Alrighty. What's he playing? Brace yourselves, everybody. Prepare your toots. I think he's playing Legacy Elves. Ooh. Which is a, a fun deck. So, for those who are with us who are new tonight, no, thank you all for coming in and tuning in for a start. So, you're saying thanks yeah, for the stream. Thank thanks for hanging out. It's actually really quite fun. Um, we didn't play a league, so with Baron Glory, we played uh, three practice rooms and almost won a game. And then with Mono Blacktron, we played a practice room and wrecked someone quite hard. Um, actually, it's a very close game, actually. It's a fun game. And then we lost three games in a row. To, um, two of those games were probably lost primarily to not drawing any lands. But yes. either way, so we're now going to invade another Twitch streamer, another and we are going to uh, say toot toot, and just toot the living shit out of him. Alrighty. Um, Right, so let's make sure I read the right name. <laughs> That's Another quite one. important. He's playing... Double check. He's got progenitors in his hand, guys. Let's get over there quick and see how he goes. Oh, hello, Colin Hanley. Colin Hanley. I'm sorry you just clicked in. It's so late. But um, I stream every single Monday at 7pm BST. Right. Trigger. Let's do it. We're just loading up, kids. I want at least 100 people coming off Julian, okay? Let's get yep. all aboard. Let's get some hype on for the German man with his Yoshi fetish. Thanks for coming on, Bob. Thanks for being Thank in the baby. chat, Chris. Thanks for everyone showing up. Thanks for the decks, Mygen. Um, perhaps we should test and, and tune them before we play them next time. Might be a good idea. Yeah, I think nah. that, well, I, the, prefer, I prefer the raw feeling that you only get from the Brewmasters Challenge. We're gone now. We're, we're in Julian's thing. <laughs> 